Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to Game Day with Heavy Cardboard, where we teach, play, and discuss medium and heavy strategy board games, war games, 18xx. And today, excited to bring you guys Newton, designed by Simone Luciani and Nestore Mangon. I apologize yes. for the name. So, published by Cranio Creations Italian, so I was trying there, uh, as well as uh, Simon. So, Cranio Creations also very kindly provided us with a review copy of this, so thank you for that. Welcome everybody uh, watching around the world live as well as after the fact. I'm your host, Edward Euler, and some good friends of mine. I'm Jess. I'm Star. And I'm Malta. All right. Before we get started, a big thanks to all our patrons help make all this possible. The 733, it's a new year. So hey, all right, gives us something to shoot for. I'm all for it. So thank you to all of them, especially to Brian Clark tonight. Say thanks for being a patron supporting the show. That said, Newton. Not a heavy game, mechanically. I cuss so much playing this game. Uh, not at the other players so much, more at the game itself. Yeah. This is a insanely frustrating, in a good way, mm -hmm. type game. So, something to think about. Um, yeah, I'm excited about tonight, though, and you guys will see me crash and burn, I have zero doubt. I don't believe this. So, yeah, I don't believe it. You're yeah. really <laughs> well, we'll see how it goes. So, that said, I'm going to bring the camera down and the chat uh, during the teach, uh, and we'll get started. So, you guys ready? Sure. Y'all ready at home? All right, let's do it. Just take it away. Newton. The 18th century is a time of great scientific discoveries, as well as exciting research into mysterious and as yet unknown fields. Competition in the academic world is ruthless, above all for young scholars such as yourselves. In order to follow in the steps of the great Newton, you must devote yourselves to undertaking new research and increasing your knowledge in order to become the most highly respected scholar in the world's scientific community. You will travel through Europe, visiting cities, universities, and ancient lands, which were once seeds of vast and mysterious knowledge. Devote yourselves to studying the works of the great scholars who have gone before, and learn new things in academic lessons. Experiment original theories to arrive at revolutionary technological inventions. Work hard to provide economic support for your research. And try to gain the backing of the great contemporary master. All right. So the game is played over six rounds. You'll notice there is not a turn track. It's actually on the player boards, sort of. Every player plays five cards from their hand, with each card allowing the player to perform one of the game's actions. An action has a variety of effects, which depend on the symbols on that action visible on the board. At the end of a round, a player can take back all the cards except for one. One card has to be left on the board, which means that you give up one possibility of doing that action, but also that that action is going, that gets carried out with greater strength. After six rounds, you calculate your final score. Player with the most VP wins. So what are you guys looking at? Well, first off, it's actually in two main boards. So you'll see that these are not connected. So you can put this to where they're side by side or up and down as we have it here for uh, the live stream tonight. The, so the top board is called the map, oddly enough. And you'll notice around the outside, we have a victory point trend goes up to 50 and then it would flip around or keep going for scores higher than 50, which hopefully we all get. Then everybody has one scientist in uh, the starting space there on the map. And then all these spaces are connected via routes to cities, universities, and distant land tiles, interspersed with bonus tokens and objective tiles. Then in the top right hand corner, we have the uh, medicine income tiles, which more on these as we get started. Then on the bottom board is the tracks board. There are essentially two different tracks here. We have the work track, which is the top track up here, which 
is going to get a coin, get you coins as well as possibly specialization tiles and master spaces as well as objective tiles. Then on the bottom track, we have the technology track, and you'll notice that there are multiple paths. So if you start down this path, then it splits off and you have choices to go in different directions. Everybody starts with one student on the starting space, and then interspersed here are specialization tiles, which are the small squares out here, invention tiles, which are the, the large squares with a little cutout on them. And then there's also bonus tokens, these round markers, out here, and then objective tiles, which are kind of these little banners that are out there, etc., etc. Keep in mind that there are lots of names here that I just shot you, development tiles and specialization tiles and all of that stuff, as well as for all the tiles and tokens, but at no point do you need to memorize them, just listing the names for completeness, all right? Then off board, at the top of the board, you'll notice that there are three action card displays. There's a tier one or level one, a tier two, a level two, or tier or level three cards over there. Then off camera, we have potions, we have the bank as well split up between that side of the board and the other side of the board. Then over here on the player tableaus, we have what's called the study board. So every player has a nearly identical board here which is broken down into a few different sections. The only difference on our player boards is this special ability or this special strength that uh, each board comes with, all right? So mine being the gear here, as you can see. So we have bookshelves in three rows or level one, level two, level three coming across the board like so. Then we have bookshelf tiles themselves, 12 of these, then travel cubes, which there are also 12. Then there are spaces, five different spaces for our action cards, which are going to be played out here onto these spaces. Then, as I said, the one starting development tile that's printed on the board, which separates the different player boards. And we also have a starting hand of the six same action cards, as you can see here. Everyone also is going to start the game with four different master cards, which are convey some sort of powerful bonus as well as victory points for the end of game. Everyone also has three other students which can be paced, placed on the technology track during the game. Two coins to start and last but not least this double-sided player aid here as you can see. So okay great what do you do? Well the game is played as I said over six rounds each of which is divided into two phases, the action phase and the end of round phase. In the action phase, in clockwise order, starting with whoever is the first player, now the game, of course, does come with a handy dandy little apple for Newton, but, you know, we're gonna use the, the challenge coin for heavy cardboard. Uh, so in clockwise order, every player takes turn placing a single card onto their desk on their study board. In order to perform various actions, this continues until each player has played a total of, you guessed it, five cards per round. At the end of that round, they have to move one of these cards to tuck underneath their board. That card can no longer be played, but the symbol on it will increase the value of that action when it's performed later in the game. Then players receive victory points as an immediate, any, any of these in which they've completed down here, as well as any other special tiles they may have acquired, and from objective tiles as well as income during the game, as well as master cards at the end of the game. Again, at the end of six rounds, whoever has the most victory points wins. So on your turn, you play a single card from your hand down onto your st uh, study board, and there are six different types of actions that are available for players. Technically, really only five and a joker, but more on this in a little bit. You're going to place it down onto the leftmost space. So for instance, on my turn, if I choose to play that card right there, it'll go in the leftmost available space. I may perform the action depicted on that card and apply any special effect if there is one, if there is something printed up here. This being a starter card, there isn't. But if I were to get one of the other cards and on a subsequent turn play that, any special effect for that card will be displayed in the lightning bolt as experienced gamers, we all know that means an immediate 
trigger, so when I play this card, I would get one coin, etc., etc. In addition to that, players may take quick actions, which are going to be listed right here on their little player aid, as well as on that side. And on top of that, the special effect, the main action, and the quick action can be done in any order. So they could do something here, then do this, and then if they got a special ability, so on and so forth. And the power of the action on the card that's just played is equal to the number of that symbol on my study board. So, for instance, you'll notice that I have one gear printed on there. If I were to then, later on, play a second gear, now that has a power of two, which that'll make more sense here in a little bit. So, two gears, I can do the action at a strength of two. And, like I said, more on that here in a little bit. So, any questions so far on the action phase there? I should point out that you can always choose to perform a lower value. So again, if I had that out there, I could choose it to perform that value at value one or value two for the gear action there. So let's go ahead and go over what the different actions are and all this will make sense as we go along. So the first action you'll notice here is the work action, which is a square and pencil. All right, so let me bring it out now you'll notice there is a square and a pencil right here, which now refers to this track up here. You're allowed to move your marker towards or forward on the work track that many or less spaces equal to or less than the number of square and pencil symbols on your study board. Okay, I have one symbol, which means pretty simple, I can move that forward one space. You get a number of coins equal to the number of spaces that you traveled in that action. If I had three symbols on my board, but I chose to only travel two, I would get two coins in that case. Whereas if I traveled the full Monty, I would get the full complement. I traveled one, I would then get one coin from the bank into my supply, all right? If you ever reach the end of this track and you choose to continue to move up, you would get one coin for every time that you ping it there at the top. However, to activate the effect of a special space, meaning this tile right here, this tile, the master, or the objective, you must meet the requirements depicted on it, and you must end your movement on that space. So these don't have any requirements, whereas the final objective does have requirements. More on this later. But it's important to note that if I had two symbols and I was at this space, I could go one, two to get two coins, but I would not get the, ability, the special effect of what that tile is unless I chose to only go one step and then trigger whatever that special ability is. Does that make sense? It does. It okay, does. so that is the work symbol. So that's the work track as well. So easy enough. Let's go ahead and move on to the second one, which is the technology, or I'll probably just call it the gear symbol going forward. So this says you get to move one of your students forward on the tech track, that many, again, or less spaces, depending. So you'll notice I have two gears on mine. Well, if you then look out here, you have a few choices in which to go. Once you start down a path, that student is committed to that path of study, there is no backing up. So if I chose, for instance, with here, and I may move up to two steps, I could go one, two, but once I do, I'm dead-ended. That student is there and cannot back up. So to be able to continue down other paths, I would then have to bring out additional students, which more on that in a little bit, how you're able to do that. One student per action. So I had two gear symbols. So even if I had a second student out here, I could not go say one and then one. You cannot split up an action like that. It's the full Monty on any one. And just like on the work one, is if you pass over a bonus token, you get to claim the bonus token and keep moving, whereas any of these other sim larger tiles out here, square-ish in shape or rectangle, you must land on that and stop your movement to then activate that tile, just like up here on the work track with that. Any questions on those? I'll go over what the specific things mean as we go, but uh, yeah as far as generalities on how movement works on this. Any questions on that? Nope. Nope. The last thing I want to point out is one student per color on each objective space 
meaning these being objectives out here. So for instance, I could make it all the way down to there and I actually could bring this to go ahead and continue down that same path, but on the actual objective space, only one per player, okay? But everyone is welcome to have one in each of those spaces. So that is the technology track and the gear symbol. So ready to move on? Mm -hmm. Okay, easy enough. Next we have travel, which is the compass, which makes a whole lot of sense. You'll notice that this has a book on it. More on this in a little bit, but there is one of these special effect cards. I actually misspoke. There are a couple that have on the starter deck, but as you can see, the compass has a blue book on it. This allows you to move your scientists along routes on the map out here, that many or less spaces. I have one compass, that means I may move one space. Everybody starts here and follow along the paths as you see. If you pass over a bonus token, you don't have to stop on those, you can just continue moving. So if I had two movement, for instance, I could go one and then two, stopping there. I would take the bonus token, immediately get whatever that is, and keep it over in my tableau. If you end your movement on a city a university, an ancient land, an objective, or a master space. So what is that? That's basically everything but one of these round spaces. If it's anywhere else on there, you're going to take the top most cube, travel cube, from your tableau here. So top to bottom, left to right here. So I would take this cube and place it onto that location where I ended my movement. Again, you must end your movement even if I could travel further, okay? You cannot uh, activate the same location multiple times, so one cube per player per location. And again, if you reach the objective space, you must meet the qualifier, which I will talk about here in a little bit on that. Any questions about the travel? The only other thing here is if you'll see that some places cost coins in which to travel before you can travel that path, you must pay that to the bank. Any questions? Nope. Easy enough. All right, let's move on and go from there. All right. Next, we have the lessons or the mortar board symbol here. All right. So the mortar board here says you can take a single available action card from the display with a value equal to or less than the value of the action played and immediately add it to your hand. So it's a little, we, due to not wanting to zoom out too far, we have a single mortar board on that stack there, a two mortar boards for this set here, and three mortar boards for those cards there as Martin is showing you guys. So I had one mortar board, meaning I may select any one of those cards and immediately add it over to my hand. All right. Also, if you have multiple mortar boards, it's important to note you may not take more than one card in a single action, no matter, okay? Also, because you're adding that card to your hand, if I were to take one of those cards there, add it to my hand, it is immediately available for my next action to be able to play since it's now in my hand. Mm -hmm. Okay, that makes sense? Yes. All right. Also, really important to note, the display does not refill. It only will refill at the end of the round as well as one other special time, which I'll talk about here in a little bit. But easy enough, get a card, spend one to, not spend, but qualify for one, or if I had multiple mortar boards down here, then would be able to get a higher level card. Make sense? Yes. All right, mm -hmm. the penultimate action here is the study or the open book symbol here. This allows you to take a single bookshelf tile, and there are 12 of them, so four stacks of three here. Take a single from the topmost pile and place it onto your study board in a book space of your choice that meets the following criteria, and now bringing your attention to this area up here. You've met the depicted requirement on the space that you want to cover. So for instance, this space here would correspond to a travel location out on the board, so if I had a travel cube on that location, so here, Cordoba, if I did, I then could, in theory, cover this space. However, the other thing that you have to take into account is the number of book symbols. One across that row, two across that row, and three across that row. 
you must have the number of book symbols on that row equal to or less than the number of open book symbols in my study board. Well, I have one open book symbol between all of these out here, which means I can only complete what something in the top row. Well, looking at this, here we have books that are out here on my tableau. So in this case, and if I had played these master cards, you'll notice I will have had a total of three blue and one green. So looking up here, I could cover this, 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 or this with one of these book symbols. So if I chose to do that, if I chose to do that, etc., etc. All right. The reason you're doing that is because when all of a row or column of a bookshelf space is filled, you've made a quote unquote scientific discovery and you're going to receive the victory point shown on the column or row depending on what has been filled at the end of every round. So these exclamation points represent getting scoring at the end of every single round, including the round in which you complete it. So for instance, if I were to then on subsequent actions be able to cover those up, I'm then going to score four points at the end of each round. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. If the last of a stack here gets revealed, oh, hey, get whatever that symbol is or whatever that bonus is, which in this case, and they're all shown off to the side so you know what those are. So get a potion, get coins, get be able to play a, a master card or get eight points. All right. Any questions on study cards? All right. The last one is the Joker card. And the Joker can be used to perform any of the other five basic actions just listed. So let's say I played those four cards and on my last action I chose to play the Jester. Well, this one's still in my hand. So this could count as any one of these symbols to be able to do that action. So maybe I wanted to get a, a value two card. Well, now I have two mortar boards. Or maybe I want to travel twice or maybe three gears to be able to advance a student, et cetera, et cetera. I could do that. However, it's important to note that when I play that, it counts as whatever symbol I choose it to count for is one additional. But the game has no memory, meaning this doesn't then be count for a compass because that's, all, that's essentially a blank space mm -hmm. for all intents and purposes. That's important to remember, okay? Only when currently activating the action, not subsequent ones of the same type this round or different types. Also, when we talk about tucking cards, the Joker is essentially wasted tucking it under your board as well. So any questions about the, the essentially five actions that are available to you on the in the game? Mm -mm. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk a little bit about requirements. And I've already touched on this a little bit. For bookshelf tiles and travel locations, I've already talked about they must be played here on your study board as well as on any master cards that you have played to your tableau. However, for any bookshelf tiles and objective tiles that show various volumes, like I said, being able to have these out here, the travel locations must have travel cubes on them as well. You can use the same volumes for different requirements in the same or different rounds. So what I mean by that is if I played, say, something like this, and I played a book action, I could use this book to then cover that space here. If I were to then have another book action, indulge, let's say we have another book action here, I have one, two, three blue books out here, I then could do a level one or a level two book, meaning I could cover this one there since I have three books showing in my tableau. Does that make sense? So I can use the same books, but only once per action. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Cool. So that is using the same volumes for different requirements. In addition to this, the player uh, on the player aid, you'll notice here, shows if you spend a potion, you can use that to re fill in for one book. You can do this multiple times. So let's say I have this one blue book and I wanted to cover this space from that second action, but I only have the blue book. I don't have the green or the yellow. Well, if I have at least a couple of potions in my tableau here, I could spend them to replace, if you will, those and then be able to cover that instead. 
Again, you can only cover one per, okay? In addition to that, or in lieu of that, you could spend three potions to then, uh, in place of one university or ancient land, to cover a bookshelf space. So maybe I haven't traveled to these various places. Well, I could spend three potions and using this action, go ahead and cover one of those like so, okay? So that's what that side of the player aid represents. Any questions on those? No. Okay, quick actions. Well, these are the quick actions that are listed right here. So here we go. Spend one coin and draw the top two cards from any one of the three decks, adding them to the existing cards in the display. So even though there are, say, three cards out there, you could then spend one coin, add a couple more to the, to the display, and then make your choice from that display. Or maybe choose to do a different action, depending mm -hmm. on what card you're playing. You can choose to do quick actions before, during, or after taking any one action. Okay. The next one is, I should also point out, there is no limit to the first, third, and fourth options on this. You are limited. You'll see the little times one right here that says you can only do that once per uh, round. This one says, spend three coins to buy a potion. You can do that multiple times. Easy enough. Spend five bucks to put another student out. Aha! So that is how we are able to then put another student down here at the bottom of the screen, down there. Okay? Mm -hmm. Easy enough. Spend five bucks. There are other ways on certain tiles out on the board, but that is the main way that we're going to be doing it. Then, once per turn, you can spend $2 to get a plus one strength to any one action. So maybe I wanted to be able to cover, say, one of these other spaces that I've traveled to, but I only have one book here. I could spend two coins and discard those and cover one of these spaces to be able to do a level two action, even though I only have one book space out there. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Or you could use it to travel one space further than you could, or advance one space further on that track, or one up on this track, etc., etc. Think of it as a disposable joker that you're adding to the basic action that you just played. All right, almost done. So, master cards. So, these here, you'll see that they have a little rolled scroll or diploma looking symbol. There's going to be a few spaces out here that represent being able to play these cards. So first off, it's at the end of one of the student paths. So there is one right here. There is another at the end of the work track, or near the end of the work track right there. There, If you, you place a travel cube, if you reach that location there on the travel space on the map, or if you place nine of your bookshelf tiles there is that symbol right there to be able to play another master card. When you play a master card, you play it face up next to your study board and resolve the effects. If it has a lightning bolt, it's an instant. So in this case, go ahead and get three potions. And then at the end of the game, you're going to score whatever victory points are shown on the card. Okay, that's the master cards. Plus they all have a little flavor here for who they represent. So that's the action phase. The end of round phase is really, really simple. After the last player has played their fifth card, so say something like so, then they must choose one of the cards that they have played out here to tuck underneath their board. So maybe I do something like this, tucking my book underneath it. So now, every time that I take a book action, I always will have an extra strength to be able to do a second or potentially a third level, depending on what my tableau looks like. After I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and take all those cards back into my hand to add those back here. Then take the receive any active income, meaning any of these exclamation points that you qualify for, you're going to go ahead and get any kind of victory point or possibly maybe coins or potions or other victory points that you may be getting active, if you will, active income. Then discard any remaining action cards up there. Discard all of those to the bottom of the deck. Draw out three new for each. And then we're going to move the start player to the left. And if it's not the end of the sixth round, we keep going. If it is the end of the sixth round, that's the end of the game after the end of round phase. So 
to be, I told you that there is no round track per se. However, you're going to have tucked five cards under your board. Then we're going to play one last action without skipping the tucking of the cards since it doesn't matter since that's going to be the end of the game. But that's how you're going to be able to tell the timer of the game. After that, final scoring. Any objective tiles that have travel cube on it on the map, meaning up here, if you have any, you'll score any for this. Any objective tiles on the tracks board down here, any of those five there, and any victory points on any master cards there. Whoever has the most victory points wins, and tied players, well, are tied. That's it. The last thing that we kind of need to go over, and we can do this right before we start while we're getting set up, are what the different bonus tiles are, what the different specialization or the small square tiles represent, as well as uh, the development tiles, which are these drawers over here, which also correspond to the specialization tiles. So that said, any questions locally? No. Any questions in the peanut gallery that you guys saw? They um, mentioned the Yeah, testings. my mic was out, I guess, but I unplugged it and plugged it back in. Can you check it? Is it all better now? I don't know. Talk. I am. Hi. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> all right, good. All right, sorry about that, guys. All right, so if we can reset everything, let me get my. I cues. get two, too, right? Because I'm having. Start? Yes, mm -hmm. everybody should have two, right? I suppose I shouldn't start with my bookcase filled. I would like to, but that seems unfair. <laughs> and I will move my player board up so you guys can follow along. And I'll bring the chat and everything else up. Keep my cash there. Workers. Or extra students there. And I'm going to go up a little bit for your things you're oh, going yeah, to stick underneath. Yeah, there we go. Just a little All right, there and. Okay. Thanks, cool. Rob. Sorry about that, guys. We check it, but things happen. Gremlins. Checked ah. it, then grabbed something, right, and it yeah. must have just it not happened. connected all the way. Um, okay, so let's go over what the different. Uh, so the bonus tokens out here get an extra student. And again, first one to get it gets it because they're going to actually mm -hmm. take this and place it over here. The reason is because this objective tile says you're going to score two points for every one to a max of 14 points, meaning seven of those. So student tile, student tile, get two points, get a potion. Most of these are pretty self-explanatory, getting victory points, getting some cash, et cetera, et cetera. Same with up there. Then moving on to the specialization tiles. This one says get one development tile of your choice, meaning any of these to place onto a drawer there. So it's just like the one that's printed on your board. That's kind of nice. This one says get any one of the bonus tiles, meaning get an income of two bucks, two points, or potion at the end of every round. Get two bucks every round, get a potion every round, etc., etc. Then there are the... Uh, I forget what the, the large square ones, but when you land here, when you end your movement, get an action as if you could take a three book action, meaning to be able to fill up one of those spaces there and get two bucks. This is get two points, play a master card, or get two bucks, or two points or two bucks. Mm -hmm. Here, get a gear action, a single one, uh, be able to place a, lo a travel cube on a location, or get two victory points. That's pretty much all of those. Oh, three points and two potions. Easy enough. The qualifications I just realized that I didn't touch on, I sort of did. This says that you must have three green and one blue book. That means it must be out here as well as with any master cards that you have in your tableau to be able to go to that space. Or in this case, to be able to place a travel cube. This says for every two non-starter cards that aren't tucked underneath your board, you're going to get three points for every two. Can potions be used to substitute for those books also? They can. They absolutely can, yes. Oh, for those they can? Yep. Mm. All right. Um, let's see, the other locations, get two bucks for every one uh, 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 location here that is on there. I believe that's a university. Um, cities are pretty self-explanatory. Get another student out on the board, get four bucks. These two spaces, however, these are for the doctor tile, meaning when you go to one of them first and you, and you end your movement, you place a travel cube on it, you get that tile, place it into one of these five spaces, you'll get a point every round. If you get a cube on both spaces, you flip it over, get three points every round. 
And that's pretty much it. I think anything more than that is kind of belaboring the point. Somebody want to shuffle up? Or, Martin, you have your first player? Oh, yes. There we go. I believe this tile is pay two coins and place a cube onto one of the special it is. locations. Thank you. Good call. Good call. Excuse me while we'll I whip it out. All, All right. There right. we go. Stretch, J Rex. <laughs> All right, uh, Jess, you're up first. So All right. remember, this will move every round as well. Place your bets. And first we need to get rid of one of our masters, right? Uh, oh, right. So we're not drafting because for all intents and purposes, this is Martin's first game of this. So for all did, intents and purposes, it is my first it game. It is his first game. <laughs> we, we, we did an early, early one, mm. uh, early run through kind of uh, for a couple rounds, but it's his first full game. And so we're not going to draft. We're just going to discard one of the five that we each got to start. So everybody starts with four. And here, we'll just throw them over there. Sounds there we good. go. Cool. Thanks, Dimitri. All right. There you go, Josh. That's what I'm talking about. I need Morning to pick me up Eric. today. So I appreciate it. <laughs> Sorry, no no sparkle shirt. No. I can't do it every Gone stream. It was a lot less sparkly. I noticed, looking what? back on the stream. It was, was it? less sparkly. Yes. There must be something about the way the compression was going on the, the video. Cam the camera's just getting used to it now. Or that. It understands. Uh, what do I want to do? Okay. Flashing LEDs, mm. that's what you need on your Right, shirt. yes, right, exactly that. By the way, Happy New Year, everybody. If, if I didn't mention that at the beginning, I, I really apologize. I want to do that. I could do that next. That's the thing. There's so many things I want to do. Mm. I'm... Gonna do this and pay, so I can pay two to add one to this, right? Yes, you can. Yep. I'm go here. Ho, 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 ho. Yep. Okay. And I get a point, and or just one of them. What is that? No, it's one a point. Half. A point okay. and a buck. Awesome. Yeah. I'll take it. So Jess and already running away with the game. Wow, a lot of votes for me. You guys are really starting to. We get... know. I think we also boosted their confidence in you, but I'm gonna tell you. I historically have not done well at this game. I enjoy it. I scored like 40 but points I, my first game. Yes, and you've scored way more than double that ever well, since. I wish to point out I have never lost this game. You've never Statement played of fact. this game. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. I've I'm always lost. Gonna get a card. Right. Not a bad plan. It Remember, is not a bad Remember, those do not plan. refill that for, uh, at any point, so. Martin? At any point? Well, that's interesting. At the the end end until the end of the round. I was like, what has <laughs> happened? <laughs> I know what I meant. <laughs> well, I didn't expect Star to do that. I'm, I'm going to do something perhaps rather overly drastic. I'm also going to get a card, but I'm going to pay to get a card up from where I would normally get and grab that one, because I think that's a nice one. It is a good one. Oh, that was not a hey, bad wow, one. we are off to a really good start. Hold oh. on. Yay. Yay! This is what I needed tonight, yep. let me tell you. So, here, before we get started... Keep in mind, it's the uh, new year and a new month, so uh, yes. cheers, Alexander. Welcome. Appreciate Welcome, it. Welcome, Alexander. Cheers, sir. Appreciate the support very much. Be like Alexander. That's all I'm going to say. Mm -hmm. Just just, mm -hmm. just be like him. That's all right. I try to live my life. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Every day. All right. What would you do, Martin? You took a... Well, I took Probably one the, the one you wanted. One. That one there. Oh, you paid two bucks to I buy it. Yeah. Because I, th I was thinking that the card, this one, is actually a pretty nifty card. Because it's any book. It's not a bad it card. Really I would have done wild book. It's really a good one. A book's gone wild. Book's gone wild. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, what are you going right. to do? Well, all right. I think, you know, and I was kind of messing around a little bit with you guys earlier for the... Uh, for the uh, during the little practice game that we did for Martin, uh -huh, and uh -huh. you know what? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and go on the gear track here. So my student, I'm going to go ahead and go one, two, which is exactly same thing I did That's last time. Fun. There, take one point for yellow. Not do so you have fast, gears? my friend. And then this is a wild, so I can take any of these. So it's a bit of a conundrum. So I need another student to be able to get out here yeah. before, because he's stuck. He's, yeah. he's now locked no, there he's forever. He is, no, he's done all the study he can do. Hmm. So how can I get another student? Well, I could have gone this way, but, well, yo, dog, you need a student to get a student. So that doesn't work. The other way that I see that's easily accessible is that one costing a coin, but not a terrible idea. So, okay, 
I think I'm going to go that direction. So the question is, do I focus more on gears here? Do I focus on books and looking at the cards and kind of the, the plan that I'm trying to put together here, trying, is I, I'm worried that if I place my book, any card that you use that you tuck under, you're not going to have another mm -hmm. copy of that card. So looking at this, you know what? I'm not going to overthink it. I will just go ahead and take a book, which bookcases, the game's encouraging you to do that. You should probably try that. Boom, done. First action over. Josh, you're up. That was a lot of information there. Mm. Um, well, it's okay, Tim. It's all good. I think I'm just going to play that and get the yeah this one? orange book, please. Okay. I'm going to play my wild to get another card, which will be this book. Well, alrighty. It's like Star knows things. I know, right? <laughs> he drinks and... He, no, I know. He, he knows just things. knows he's things. Just, right. he's, up to, he's up to a... He wears hats and he knows things. There you go, right? He's up to something. Something bad, I'm mm -hmm. sure. Meanwhile, I'm going to do a bit of travel that. since I have the double compass. Sure. And I'm going to do what I did last time, first move, and do this, Excellent. and grab myself a push on. Mm -hmm. A push on and a point okay. is no a buck. Or a buck. Well, and a buck. buck. Get a buck. Get a buck. I'm no longer you broke. get a buck. Yay. And place a travel token as well. Indeed. On where you end it, and again, which is Leipzig. There we go. I'm told it's very nice. I have never been there. All right. There. Well. Um, mm -hmm. I kind of like the idea. So you know what. Stay on target. So I'm going to go ahead and travel. No, nope, going to stay on target. So I'm going to go ahead. Oh, I need an extra buck. Don't right. It's money. To be able to do. Mm -hmm. How did I get another mm -hmm. buck? What? Maybe I'm ahead of myself. Hold on. Mm. Mm. Right. What did I do last time that was all so clever? <laughs> <laughs> you I, did do clever things last time. I thought I, I did clever things, so this time I'm doing random okay. things. You got Just another good. guy from the map. No, I know, but I can't get there because it costs... You could work. I could, and I think that's... Oh, that feels so wasted, but all right, fine. There. For a buck. That feels so just unsatisfying. For one dollar? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Um, yes, exactly, Franny. Um, Be like Alexander. Take over most of the known world. Exactly that, yes. I feel like... I don't know. Work it, work it. I, all right, so that's two. So you get two. Yep. One, two. Okay, star. I'm going to do the gear action. I'm going to move my guy one spot to my left, your right. Uh, you, your mm -hmm. left, my right? Correct. All right, right there. Boom, done. Okay. Mm. Could have paid two bucks to get the extra student out to get yeah, to that space. I might need my bucks. Okay. Martin? I am going to also do a gear. Hmm. All right. So where are we going, sir? What direction? Going. That's a good question. I'm going the same way Star went. Hmm. Right there. There we go. Yeah, and again, I'm going to not actually um, pay the extra because I can't. Okay. Uh, so if I uh, All right. Stay on target. Stick with the plan. So I'm going to pay three bucks to be able to do this. It's going to be two bucks to add to a strength on that. So that's actually going to be a double compass move, which means... One, and then pay the extra buck for the travel there to be able to go there to be able to put out another student. Boom, done. I've seen this before. Yeah, right? Stop me if you've heard this. No, wait, no. Oh, okay. that's smart. I, mm. yeah, I don't think Ale Alexander did real well, but appreciate the support, Alex. No, Thanks a lot, Mom. One, two. Mm. So 
So I have to stop here to get this, right? If you I must, go, yeah. The yeah, only things on. that you don't have to stop on are the round bonus tokens, correct? Pick them up on your way by. Eh. We have coconut oolong tonight. Right? Really mm. tasty. Guess really I good. Put that down and go there. That seems As like a such a good idea. It's really pretty reasonable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I appreciate that. All right, good. But I have none of those. Like that's never going to happen. Nice, Franny. Okay. I think it could happen. You could do it. It's really <laughs> not going to happen. Yeah, this game beats me up so bad. Oh, I don't know. And the other thing that the one gotcha that I want to remind or point out for Martin while Jess is tanking here, which is oh, going I'm to so happen. bad. When you're at All this right, master space, this it costs stop three months to get out of jail. Essentially, I noticed that one. I'm making a terrible move. Okay, I I'm appreciate just, that. I'm ignoring the fact I have two just to go there. No, thing. that's good. No, that's not a <laughs> terrible move. <laughs> that was a reasonable move to me. I think right. that's hey, perfectly Rainer, reasonable. It's better than the move I'm going to do. Star. Oh, I got nothing. I'm going to get a coin. And Seems short-sighted, but okay. And two. Move. So the question is, I'm we're going one the there to get that. Mm -hmm. So that put another the, student. Yep. You said the potion? And the six points. Okay. Going towards the master space. All right, Martin. Um, okay, I'm going to reveal that I'm, I've got an even worse move than Jess in my mind because I'm going to play the Joker on the gear, and I'm going to do this because I went this way instead of that way because I, my head wasn't in the right spot and I wasn't <laughs> thinking straight. Can you check if I have to pay for these. Oh, if you have that questions. list. Uh, sure, I'll bring it up here in a minute. Thank y'all. Yep. Or it's here somewhere. It's uh, uh it. Back over there between list you guys. Of uh, yeah, there you list of masters. Oh, masters. yes. Very mm. cool. Here we go. So well, we have decide. a Cranio Creations edition of this for Masson. So we only have the Italian rulebook, so I had to print out the actual English rulebook. Um, so those are the cards that I have left in my hand. Now, I could go get another gear. But if I do that... Hmm. One of these cards that I've played down here is going to go away. I could Joker to be able to do another triple gear action. Uh, getting the coin, the income wouldn't be bad. Doing kind of like what Jess did there for the triple student. Um, but I feel like traveling would also be good. So doubling up on the travel, which would be one, two, which would be three points. That seems a little less than satisfying so i don't think i like that but playing the book i could if i don't have it what i'm looking at is i have one book already played to my tableau and if i played the single book out here the only one that i would be able to fulfill right now is that and i would like to try and fulfill stuff over here which i would need a potion ideally to be able to do. There is that, huh? You know what? I talked myself into it. Let's do this. So I'll joker the gears. So that's a total of three gear steps. So we're going to go one, two, three. Six points for yellow. Up to seven. And the potion. Done. Five. It does. Okay, this seems really crazy. That'd be two. And that would let me do one more. So, Joseph, does that mean I glory to run for myself? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> it's not worth counting, seriously. The amount of times I screw up in a game. Okay. <laughs> that's awesome. I think I can do this. Okay. So, that's two... That is, for the fact, workers, two gears. But yep. I could pay to go one more? You can. So I get this, passing it, so two points. Two points. I'm okay. there because I paid. Right, the two Let's bucks to be able legit. to add to one. I'm okay. going to unlock a master, which allows me to move without paying. Is that what it says? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who is it? Pascal? Pascal, and it lets me go five. But remember... Now, if I pass these and don't land on them, I can't drop a cube. There you go. But if I pass these, I get to keep them. Correct. One, two, three, four, five. Well nice. done. So that's another master. 
And I get this thing, which, which is, is a point and two coins back. Point for green. And real quick, drop a cube so you don't forget on yeah. master space. And now you get to play a second master. That was uh, that was a good. Ooh, one. Well done. Good. Well, done. I can't do that one right now. I could do this one, which would be. Mm, no, I can't do that one because it stops. Okay, so I'm going to do this one, which gives me another worker. Another student. Student. And that's going to be 11 points at the end of the game for her as well. So, well I'm done. I'm betting on her. Seriously, that was, that was, well done. Yeah, that was pretty uh, awesome. The, mm -hmm. yeah, thanks. All right. Two I'm, are obvious, two less. Travel. Thank you. There. It's the city of medicine or something. Yep. Put a cube there and I get this, which is a one point income each round. Oh, that would have been so much better if you got boo. If I got what? I have one here. Kepler it says you get six steps on the work track, but you don't get the income. Boo. Because <laughs> of its bad volume. Well, I'm going to go one step on the work income, even though it's only a measly one money to do so. But I'll take it anyway. Oh, that's actually really good. I like that. Okay, cool. Yeah, fine. Fellas, do you need it for anything? Nope. Are you guys good? Oh, okay, cool. Uh, yep. All right, good. I think I know what these do. And you know what? One other thing I wanted to check real quick just to make sure because it does have the slashes, which usually in indicates either or. Oh, Jess isn't going to like me right now. Why? You totally said that was a thing. Yep. What is it? And you know what? I feel like we ought to play it that way, but this is, we totally, that's on me. What is it? I lied to you. Mm, so, tell me. so the slashes on this, it says receive two victory points and two coins for every master that you've played. Okay. So, but How do you we know back what? That up? No, I mean we can back it up. Who? Because did you go yet? No, oh, it's my turn. Technically. Oh. <laughs> so let's. Gone, just, but I don't think it makes. I, no, I can probably. Else. I don't think so. So okay. So if that's All the right. case. Well, I wouldn't have done that. So, hold so on. let's back go that back up. Here. That was so exciting. That, mm. that was a hell of a move. So where's Christopher? He's not here tonight, apparently. No. Um, okay, so hold on. So you actually moved five, out. right? One, two, three, four. Okay. And I got one, two coins, but I paid two to do that. The so. extra. And a point. So the point comes back. That goes there. And there was one other that you got. And one I of just these. pulled this out. Right here. Oh, There's and one there was more. one I got there. It was the two point two one. Two points. There we go. Okay. There. Right there. there. All, right. All right. Good. All right. This is just to prove that even trained professionals can make mistakes. Exactly. Okay. Back up. Time. Okay. There we go. Hmm. Okay. Hey, Adam. What's up? All right. Ah, sorry about that. My bad. The slashes threw me. I apologize. Yep. Horrible. Horrible. <laughs> Well, it happens. It still was a hell of a move. Uh, <laughs> not really. Not anymore. You can't count it if it didn't happen. Uh, that was impressed, though. Still. Yeah. All right. Oh, so this goes back here. So it'll go just then me. Mm -hmm. yeah. So pull this back, too. No, I already pulled one back. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah. okay. Final, final we're all on final move. All right. We're on final move. So I pulled one back. All right. Joe it is, not Joseph. Mm -hmm. All right. I feel less intimidated now. That's You're right, good. seriously. Mm. I agree with that statement. First three and three is there, four and there. It's fun to go. But of course, I've gone the wrong direction. Um. That's less important, though. So how many places are there to do the masters? One, two. Four. four. So there's one. Yeah. Uh, two. Two. Three for the third one here, and uh -huh. four. Ah, it's over there. I uh -huh. knew there was one. On, okay, so there's the one on this track. Exactly, and allow us to demonstrate folks how to reverse an action. There we go. Yeah. All right, so it happens. Yep. Except that, I will reveal, that was my master plan for, like, the entire game. So. I'm a horrible, horrible human being. I am sorry. Right. But you sorry. executed it perfectly. I yeah, did. I mean, seriously, well See, done. I would have gone this way. So I'm going to... How do I salvage this guy? 
Well, if it makes you feel better, I went completely the wrong route without right. a master plan. All right. <laughs> um, I guess he could go that way. All right. So that's two still. So I'll go this way and get There this. you go. Yeah, it's still pretty nice. Point income's pretty good. Yeah. And that goes here. All right, cool. So no right. harm, no foul. So now my turn. Oh, there was harm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But not to the rest of us. No. All right, so I will go ahead and stay on target with what my plan was. Sorry, Jess. Um, so I have one book, which means it must go into the top level. However, you have I, two books. I do have two books, don't two I? Two books. Mm -hmm. Well, shoot. Not so fast, my friend. That said, I'm still going to stay on target and do what I was planning on doing, which is spend a potion to add a, a act like a second wild book. Mm -hmm. Woo! They party. All right. So that means I'm going to go right there for the two blue books, get rid of the potion, and done. So that's the end of the first round. So what happens now is everybody must tuck one of those underneath. Uh, and it must be one that was played, so in other words, I can't use that one. And... Yeah. And that was my plan, was to play that um, work thing, to put to tuck it under, because then that one that I bought, this one here, I can now take advantage of it later. Okay. So there, you take the others back into your hand. As you can see, uh, Star went ahead and wiped the display and added, or is mm. in the process of adding those. Any income or victory points that you get for completed rows. So in this case, Jess gets two points and two coins. Two coins. And Star, what do you get? I get one. All right. Martin? None at all. All right, pass the first player marker. Mm. And Star, you begin, good sir. All right. What is this card? Pay three coins and... At a book, I will double check the exact uh, one on that one. I don't want to assume again. Spend three coins in order to place a second bookshelf tile in the same action. The value of the action must be split. Okay. I'm going to get a card. I'm going to play a gear. Hey, Frank. It's been a while. Uh, Good seeing you. Allow me to go here, and I'll take the yes, sir. grab a potion every time thing. Which, had I gone the correct route, I could have done last go. But don't keep laughing at me. <laughs> so, I need... Oh, that works out really well. So, a mortar board, and I will take the book one, please. The green book. Thank you. you. That will go in my... And Jess, you're up. All righty. <laughs> There's some really bad, bad puns and jokes being in, uh, in the peanut gallery tonight. I think not bad. Oh, I need that blue book. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'll take the one because I only have one. There we go. All right. I'm going to do a gear action to move forward. My blue guy one and get the extra guy. Because you were with me and I was concerned. Yeah. If you didn't, I was going to this turn. Well, there's that. I'm going to put a navigate down. Um, and actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to put a uh, 
we have a plan. I'm going to put the money grabber down and take two bucks. So I'm using that and that. So I get two. That's the whole point of putting that there. Um, that will get me more money, which I'm going to need. All right. Second mortar board. So I will take the very first book. No! <laughs> There's a board for that. Mm. <laughs> it is a bit beigey, isn't it? Isn't it? The board and everything here. There you go, well, kind of brighten it up a little bit. There you go. I'm going to take one of them, just not the one I wanted. Pay three to put an extra book out. Is that what that is? Pay yeah, three. you pay one buck to get uh, to get two cards out of any one deck. No, what? Three dollars. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were asking <laughs> about the, the nope. quick action. No, I'm buying a card. Which, okay. What is that? Get three or spend three bucks and you can put out a second book and split your actions. You must. So if you have like a two Because book there's a book at the bottom, to. you're putting right. a book out. Right. So you get to put out a second book. No, uh, these if you qualify for it. But yes. these have to be split up. So if I've already have one mm -hmm. and I play that card specifically, I mm -hmm. then have two books, means I have a one and a one to be able to put out two of those. Oh, so that one only counts as a one. Correct. Oh, so you couldn't put two on row one. Not unless you had a second book or you paid the two that's, coins to be able to wow, do it. Wow, that's really terrible. Okay. Or you could pay the one coin to um, draw two more cards. Actually, you, you know what? I'm not going to use that one. I'll use this one because I get a buck and I'll... Yeah, that's fine. And that's still two, so I'll take the middle one. Okay. Okay, star. And do the actually I have a question for cards for the master cards if they give you an action can you add uh, an extra one I don't to, believe so two? I believe no. okay. you are stuck with exactly what it shows okay yeah it's specifically what it shows okay fair enough well I'm still gonna do it this is gonna give me a coin and then I will do move my guy to the one two and welcome he is now he gets his diploma and i will take this action which gives me four bumps or four moves and i can split them up between very different nice guys yep i will move uh one guy straight up three which, which then gets one of those give me i'm going to take the potion one please thank you sir and then the other one will move towards the yeah, exact There we go. All right. Martin? Uh, trying to figure out which will this work. I think it will. I'm going to do that to move. So I am going to finally do what I wasn't going to decide against doing last time. It's going to move one, two, and take that for a potion. That's all right, I've got them over here. Okay, you got some good. Second all right. potion, which I think I'm going to like. That'll work. Okay. Potions are tasty. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so I'm going to get one buck immediately. Also adds another book into my tableau, and then I get two work steps. So that's going to be one, two, which would be another two bucks. Can I get a couple? Oh, one coin over on that side, please. There's some for your... Cool, thanks. Mm -hmm. There. Jess? I'll take the last um, book up there because I have three. Right? The that one yeah. for the travel. Okay. Sure. This. Yep. Mm -hmm. Spend three bucks for five points. Okay. I'm gonna work for a buck. Martin. I am gonna put the book, the, the library down, and I've got these three books. I've got that. I need to spend two. To take a two level book and I can place a book here. Correct. Well done. Yep. I'm thinking about doing something similar. 
except, God, I hate the idea of wasting more money. Um, Eh, gears. Um, yep. Yeah. Uh, but the three L is going to be really hard right now. Uh, and location three is over there, which is nowhere near where I'm at. That requires. Three potions, right? Yeah. And one potion requires three bucks. Yeah, let's just try it. So that is two books, so I can do a level two. I'm going to do that one there. I'm going to pay three bucks for a potion, then turn that potion in for that, which means this will then cover that space. Boom, done. like I'm playing extraordinarily tactically right now. Well, that's I'm so I'm impressed doing. with you. That's great. Um, that's actually not bad. All right, I'll move one here. From here to here? Mm -hmm. Which means you get that. It's almost like points are important or something. Mm. Weird. Yeah, you know that they are. <laughs> You're playing the long game. All right, so I'm going to travel. I'm going to pay a buck. One, two. Put down a cube and flipping over this. Yep. I've seen you done that before. Right. Yeah, we didn't change the board from the practice. No, we did not. We did not. Um, I've been taking advantage of that as well to do something differently to what I did first time, since what I did first time wasn't too good. Um, let me check my understanding. This means I can place a f level three book? Yes, or uh, oh. in your bookcase you can any of those. Yes, yes correct. Yes. And get two. Oh, I have to still take account of the uh, thing on the square. Though. Correct, yes. Edward, excuse so. me, when I play this I also get two points. Because you have two yellow books on your tableau, That's correct. True. Yep. I apologize. No problem. Well, I'm going to do exactly that. Move a student. One, two, take this, which is a buck, and... Oh, I get two victory points. I get off zero. All right, here's a buck. No, not a buck, a potion. Oh, sorry. Potion and two victory points. Yeah, you points. got some. Oh, okay, yeah. you're good. Well, I got right. potions, Andy. And then I place a free book. Of course, I am in Leipzig, so I can place a book here in yep. Leipzig. And that's complete. You also get two bucks for that one, one two bucks. as well. Well That's done. Nice. And to answer your question, Joe, um, you can spend as a quick action, spend three bucks to get a potion right here. You, um, make sure you guys can see that. Yeah, you can. Right here. And then this shows you can spend one potion to replace a book. So there we go. That's exactly what I did. Yep. Uh, all right. So I think... Two blue and a yellow here, eh. which means the books go down. But if it, eh. <laughs> you know what, I'm gonna stay on target uh, on this. I feel like it's a bit of a wasted action, but I feel like I need to, even though I have no money engine going. I'm gonna try. I will go ahead and double up the or duplicate the mortar board action. So I'm thinking that I need to take that book because if I, I'm planning on placing this book and tucking that under, and if I do, I have no other book action, but I have no yellow book cards. So, but it, two blue books and a yellow is awfully tempting. No, I'm going to go short-sighted. Let me, give me the travel one, third one. They're the middle, as it were. There you go. Yep. That's I quit a it. gear, so not a travel. Or the gear, I'm sorry. I, I knew what I meant. Travel my student along is what I meant. Harumph. That's it? Yep. It's 
I'm going to pay three bucks for five points. Yeah, that's a lot of points. It is. I think that's m my entire strategy now. So <laughs> I'm going to buy <laughs> points. And I get to move twice. It's going to cost me a dollar to do that. Yep. And drop one of these. And that flips this, right? That's yep. true. All right, so that's the end of the second round. Choose a card to tuck. Actually, wait, do I need the double greens? Oh, not so fast, my friend. I only need one green now for this part of the board. Eh. Eh. I don't want to tuck a yellow. I don't want to tuck a green. I don't want to tuck. I don't know what I want. All right. That's good. That'll work. Star is replacing the cards. Okay. What Once everyone is done tucking and getting your cards, to be able and to yes, you can use multiple there. quick okay. actions every turn, Joe. Unlimited, actually, Probably. except for buying extra uh, powered actions. That's the only one that you can't do multiple. All right. Deciding which card to tuck is a really awkward decision. Yeah. Yo, yeah, oh, it. Yes. I just changed it the last second. So everyone's done, so score your points, get your income, whatever it is. So Jess two scores bucks. a million points and not a lot at all. But I had get two dollars. Right. And then three and two. That's it. Just that's five. That, that's mm -hmm. five. That that would be a considerable mm -hmm. amount of points. Cons mm -hmm. I score three points and get a potion. Yeah. Better than I'm doing. All right, pass you the first on point on two or three, three. Martin. I think I was on two. Two. Right. Yes. There you go. All right. Pass the first player marker. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now what do I do? I'm a long way from where well, I want to be on the income track. Uh, get some more books. I kind of have a book plan going in my mind. Am I competing with there's not a huge amount of competing with other people for things, but there is of course competing for people for those cards, which I've not really done a stellar job so far of doing. What's out there at the moment that looks fun? Do a books, do a victory points for one. Oh, that's so for two I can get even more books and a navigation move. Yeah. Interesting. And a book mm. uh, that turns green books into which is great having got rid of the one green book. Alright. Uh, I don't think I want to spend money on more things, but actually having the multiboard. Be nice, go off. I think I'm going to take a multiboard and I'm going to take it for a yellow. Alright, so I t two will place a mortarboard out, and I'm going. That gives me two mortarboards. And hmm. lose points. I would prefer it be coins. Uh, I'll take the travel, the first of you know, the twos. There you go. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Done. Jess? It's my whole plan now. One, two. Because I have two of them. Why not? That seems... Well, I'm curious to see how it works. Okay. I'm going to use my Wild Desert Mortar Board um, because I realized I just tucked my only mortar board. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's happened to me, too. <laughs> I'm going to use my um, Inkling thing. Yep. And I can go two, one... Oh, no, I'm there. I want to have yep. oh, Okay. Oh, there you goes. go. So it's one, two. There you go. Yeah. Yep. Actually, completely all those white plans, does it? No, probably not. But I do get two bucks for that. There. Okay. It seems really short sighted to do this, but we're going to. One more. Right, that was the other option was yeah. to get that out. Oh. Oof. Three and 
Okay. So, uh, okay, how do I do this? How do I do this? I need that. There's one, there's two, there's three. That's going to be two steps. One, two, done. Really? That's the best you can do? Wow. That's unfortunate. Um, All right. It changes nothing. There. I'll take my two bucks instead. Oh, Good work. I need Three that. bucks. And there you go. That's what we were meaning to do. Oh, one, two, three, one, two, three. That, yeah. Okay. Ugh. Wow. I love the level of geek that we have in chat tonight yeah. in the peanut gallery. This is high level geek going on. This is this is impressive. Yes. Oh, I have to use that for that. Mm -hmm. Well, I feel I feel like I'm floundering a little, but I just figured out one little chain that I can do to be able to do some stuff. So but. there's no level one mortarboard card. Oh, there is one. There's one. There's but one. remember, you can always pay a coin put out two more cards. I need money. Okay. Hence the need to do the yep. motorboard because I have a card that gives me money. So the fact that I can pay doesn't help me. Um, I guess I can take it just to take it. And then tuck that one. Okay. So that would be that. And then this. And then more money. And then move. Okay, so I'll do that to get a one and a buck. This one? Yep. Okay. This. Oh, and so I have to play that to get that. Edward, remind me, what are these two? Do yeah, let's not screw that up again, huh? Uh, so this one says for every master card that you've played, you get two bucks and two points. Mm-hmm. And the other one, I'm 99% sure what it means, but I'm going to look it up because I don't trust myself, that says receive two victory points and perform a, a tech basic action of value one for each ancient land that you have visited. Got it. So you get to move one step. Kind of cool. I'm going to work for a coin. Card for the money. There. Question for you, Edward. If scoring this effect, uh -huh. that, does that allow? I, you to I would think so. Oh, because it's, so it's whatever card you that would make sense. So to that me. allows me to get a level two card. I will take a level two card, and okay. it will be that level two card. So I have that, and that which card, allows me to play that's that. Not really not great. And then. Oh, but I'm not going to do anything there, but I don't have any of this. I can't get them both out. Urgh! All right, I'm still going to do it because I think this is fun, so I'm going to try it. All right, so I have two of the gears. Spend my hard-earned money. That's going to be one, two, three. Which then... Money? Yeah, I, I'm going to play this master which is uh, Thomas Brown, which says I get four mortar boards worth of cards and I can split that. In fact, I must. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take the two yellow, which is your dog get another mortar board. That's going to be three, but I'm going to go ahead and pay one buck to go ahead and put out two more level ones. Uh. I need green cards. Uh, I don't think I do. So, and I don't want to do any more travel so uh, as much. So I will go and take the work one, please. Yep. Mm -hmm. There we go. Done. Um. 
All right, so I have two of those out. If I do this, I can go one, two, but I don't have enough money. Okay, money. This is amazing how you guys, it just, it just they're feeding off one another. And it's impressive. Mm. <sighs> do I want it? Mm, I guess so. I have two of them, so two bucks. I'm gonna. Sp I have uh, two more boards. I'm gonna spend two bucks to grab this card. And that's a level two one. There in the middle. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Right. Doesn't sound, yeah, you know, I suppose usually we have them lined out so that you can see right. Well. Yeah. All right. We just Martin. Do we're doing that. So I'm going to play my Joker and I'm going to do work. And I'm only going to do two work because it'll so put me there. So two coins. I'll get two bucks. And that is a travel, sir. Okay. Thank you. Was it a travel? It was. Oh, I couldn't see from there. I thought it would. Okay. I didn't realize what it was. That was, uh, that's my eyesight. Helping to plan my strategy for me. Okay, so I could do that. I'm well, wrong. it wasn't really what I was planning on doing, but we're going to try it. So we'll go there. I'll go ahead and take the level three book or card. Thank you. Done. Mm. Hmm. Okay, that changes things. Bolts. I really wanted to be able to cover two sets, but it just wasn't in the plans. All right, well, I have the money. I don't know what I'm going to talk, but. Wow. Oh, well. All right, so I'll do this now. One, two, I'm only going to go two spaces so that I can drop one there. Two points, please. And three bucks. Three bucks. And drop in another master. No, only have one master. That never happened. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a horrible, horrible person. <laughs> Terrible teacher. <laughs> I feel so bad now. It's okay. Star, you're yes. out. I had no expectation that I would do well. <laughs> Hey, uh, don't forget, like, and subscribe, everybody, if you're enjoying this, and in, hopefully don't count the, the bad chemistry puns against us. Uh, <laughs> and also, pledgehc.com if you want to support the show. I'm moving my guy. Uh, I'm blue, and I'm going to move over to your space. Right here? Yep. And which one would you care for, sir? I would care for... Hmm. Travel, please. Travel is there. Thank you. Martin? Uh, I don't know why this really works. I don't want to do that. That'll work. Okay, I am going to do a... No, I'm not. I'm going to do a book. All right. And um, I am uh, going to do a level two book, for which I'll need to drop two coins, because... You know why not? Because you have so much of it. And then I can splop one of them down here. Which means you immediately get a potion as well. well I'm collecting the potions. Aren't well I? done. Potions are good. I will also learn me a book. I have one. Do hold on. That wasn't. Boy, I planned poorly. Yep, I only have two books, right? Yep. Uh, if it's in your hand, it's not out here. So t I guess I'm doing that one. That wasn't the original plan. But that gets me a potion. Done. Jess? Um, let's see. I have a green out. I'm never getting all of those. You can pay... One dollar to what? Two cards? What's that? Yep, to put out two more out there oh, from any one no. deck. Mm, that's not going to help me. Okay. Mm. I need two of those. Which one?
which I don't have out. I can't tuck that. One more board. Travel. It's not so bad. Um. Which gets me there. Oh, I'm never getting back up there. Well. So this would think? be two. Then I'm really stuck. Um, oh, because you need three bucks to be... That, well, yes. No, I, no, no, that I was oh, stuck okay. at for a while. I'm stuck down here, too. Because I don't have a left... Oh, there is that one out now. But it's useless to mm. me. Hmm. Um, I can play it just for the point, or to have something to tuck. Hey! What's up, Rabbi? Um... One, two. Yeah, everything's short. I don't have money to pay. Uh, can I place a book? If I place a book, I can only place a level one. And that one doesn't do anything for me. Okay. It does give me a buck. I will just do this. Go to. What's that get you? Uh, two bucks and a potion. All right, and star, last action. Hmm. All right, I'm going to get a buck. I move two. I'm going to follow. Oh, oh I could well. use what's a potion. Oh, yeah, I'll follow Jess. So there and there. Correct. Two coin income. Thank All right, that's the end of the round. Tuck a card. I would say wipe the cards, but there's not a whole lot up there to wipe. First player moves and get your income. Everyone not named Edward. Hmm. So Martin gets, it looks like, three points and a potion. How many yep. points, Jess? There you go. Oh, uh, two bucks. Oh. Add here. And potion five. Yes. I'll do something with those potions right. any moment Seriously, now. Right? Five points, star. Okay. All right, I think that's going to be the one I took. That's sort of a book, but where do I want to talk? Do I have another one of these? I do. Who bought money? That was red. Yes, that's uh, correct. That was me. No, you are missing the peanut gallery telling us we're moving the wrong pieces. I know, around. right? We could be doing all sorts of things and no one knows. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, I think I have to do this. It's. I'm just in a bad spot right now. Be, being trapped with no money is tricky. So there. One, two. Plus one is three. Plus the travel there. So three coins. Done. I Have a good one, Joe. There. Chase well. Good luck. I Happy New Year. Two down. Oh, I did that wrong. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, whoop. What is this when you get here? Uh, six points and a potion. That's it? Yeah, the end. Two of us have done that, but it's on the way to a master, so. Beggars can't be choosers. Oh, that wouldn't be bad. Oh, this is brutal. Okay. Wait, that's a, mm, where is that one? One, two, three. That's not that bad. Is this a free space? Did you say that? Uh, so it is. Know. Yeah, yeah. I did not, but it, I thought it was obvious. Yes, you were correct, <laughs> Just making so, sure. No, I, I want to verify things. All right, so. Does it remove a card I from have the, the game money for now. Points two exactly, points? yep. Okay. Don't worry, I'm eyeing that. For no reason. <laughs> that is not the card you were looking for. Remove a card <laughs> from the game, huh? 
So a blue book wouldn't be bad, and it would let me do more stuff. Okay, where's that mortar board? And it would give me a buck if I do this one, or a point. What do I want to do? Um, wouldn't be. I need something to tuck. God, there's so many cards in my hand. That's the confusing part. Yep, I've never gone this far into cards. It's same here, and the more cards you get, the more options you have. It's a little and like, I'm like, oh, I don't, which way am I going to go with this? Right. I need three. Oh, I want to do this. That's the compass one, which I'm going to do. That'd be one, two. Okay. Mm, but I need more money to do that, so I think this is a good idea. Oh, where's that money one? Where's my money? Okay. I'm going to do this, get a dollar, and take the blue book up there. This one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Using my Joker as a uh, waterboard. And I need a book. Rest of my round planned out. Don't mm -hmm. screw it up. Would you, what one would you take? The one I've done that. Before. Okay, I approve. Yeah, I did that with I you, and you took right. the card I wanted. It it's not gonna. Sorry, it doesn't yeah. always work out. Well, I'm just saying it's it's off screen, but yeah, <laughs> there is there is the rest of my round. There you go. <laughs> sure, no one will get in your way. Okay, so I have a formation of a plan. I'm trying to build up what I can around this corner. So okay. that means, the nice thing about this game is I don't think there's too much people can do to stop you. Because it, it's not a lot cards of It's really is the big thing, right? So I'm eyeing up to see if I can complete this row. Quite ambitious, but I think it's a possible. But my first step to do that is to travel. So I've got three travel points. I can spend three money to go through Cambridge over this one, which gets me my free money back again, yeah. and, then and lands right me there. on Stonehenge, which is that spot there. Well um, done. And, and take and take the bonus marker, no. even though you're not spending it. Oh, yes, yeah. that's true. Yep. There you go. And I can worship at the stones like a good druid. <laughs> there we go. All right. So, so far, so good. We are traveling. Two travel. One, two. There, and I owe a buck. Done. Okay, so that's two of them out. If I do this, I get to three. Uh, and then just make sure you do that. That's kind of what I'm trying to do as well. Bree? So, yeah, trying. Not saying it's working well, but trying. Oh, I wanted to do this one too yet. No, not yet. That's fine. I can do that after. Sure. Um, okay, so I'll do this one. That's three gears. So we'll go here. Six points. Six points. Da 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 Let's go Team Jess. You coffee people need to stick together. Uh, yes. So, two like bucks. Uh, I've had to tea today. Well this time. Yeah, right. So that gives me money, which I'm clear, clearly short of. But more importantly, of course, it gives me a yep. wild book. Yep. All right. So far, so good. So two mortar boards. I'll actually take the book mortar board. That gives me two income in the middle right there. There you go. Thank you. So, excuse me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> three, four. Oh, that's not. Okay, wait a minute. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that might work. It's the same amount anyway. Okay. And I have six bucks. Sure. There, there. I always don't forget what the potions can do for me. All right, so it gives me any book. It replaces a, a, a book, book requirement, right? Even yeah. up here or... Or multiple definitely. books. Oh, okay. You know, I'm saying you could spend I multiple, see. yeah. Most there you go. potions. Yep. Are. And, and that this, is a you don't location. Even need the it's a location. Meaning Up here, meaning I don't go. need to have there that. There you go, exactly. Yep, nailed it. Okay. Mm. Oh, that's 
It's not really a switch. It's the same action. It's just a different card. I need to so. get three. So there was that. that. Mm. Oh, you meant you meant from Six. coffee to tea. A little slow on the uptake. Yeah, right. it's okay. <laughs> Maybe if you drink more coffee. Maybe yeah, right? that would help. Okay, so I'm if really I play enjoying this. this coconut oolong. It was very fine. Very fine indeed. Oh, I need more money. Good tea is a wonderful thing. It really I, is. I, I agree. Use this. Bad tea is really awful. <laughs> and I grew up with really bad tea. Oh, oh yeah? yeah? Where are you from? Is it well, in England? Yeah. Right. It was, so is, uh, the black uh, black teas you're saying, right? Uh, just cheap Indian teas that are kind of this? powdery stuff, you know, oh, PG okay. tips or that kind of stuff. And it was and just that's what my you know I, that's what I thought was tea for the first twenty nearly twenty years of my life. And then I moved in with a friend at college. And he drank this weird tea that was totally different to anything sure. I'd ever have from this, the fantastic tea house on Neil Street in London, oh, which is still there. That, the, the, any British people really in the, from London might know it. Um, and it was like, you know, the world completely yeah, altered. Okay. There was this world of bad tea and then suddenly this world of good tea. And I've never looked back. Two. Two Jess has a plan. This makes me nervous. No, Somebody, I really Hold don't. on. Change out of five. I can do that. Yeah. Um, and Turn that three. was how much was two I bucks. getting? Two? There you go. All right, star. I'm going to work for two. Oh, you know what that was? Twice as good as the last time you did it. <laughs> yeah. There you go. I'm taking a five and returning three. And I am going to do a bit of uh, motorboarding. And I've only got one, but I'm going to do a two because, hey. I mean, He's got, flush with cash. I've so got flush with not? cash, so why not? And I am going to take this one. And Actually, no, I'm going to take that one. I'm going to read me a book. So I have three books here. I have three yellow. Three, uh, three yellow means... Oh, wrong thing. Sorry. I have completed... There. Completed that column... Four points. I will get at the end of the round. Boom, done. Nice. Okay. Mm. Oh, I have that one. Jess? So I would just need to get all the way up there. Oh, that seems so simple. Not. Uh... We had an issue the other day. My fiance accidentally drank my coffee. I knew, I knew it when she said it wasn't her cup of tea. <laughs> Who is that? Christopher. Was that? Nice. Oh, all right. Well done, Christopher. All right. Oh, yeah. PG tips. You can dump all of that in Boston <laughs> Harbor. I'm telling you. It's going to be a pollutant <laughs> these days. So right. what, is, One, what, two, is, what is that? It's just cheap British tea that okay. you buy in tea bags. I mean, there's oh, lots sorry. of other brands as well that are just as bad. Or, okay. But it was just, it's just really awful stuff now. compared to what I drink now. Okay. Well, what I drink ever since One, I discovered two, the tea house. Okay. Or, oh, I'm counting wrong because that's not a path. One, oh, no. two. The paths are hard to see. One, two, three. Hold on. Wait. You can see it, right? No, One, yeah. Two, from up three, here, I'm like, they're four, actually five. really clear. But I'm like, okay, No, because like, I was seeing, I don't know. There's these two. <laughs> if you can see it, come on, look. And then there's nothing from there to there. No, okay. See, that is hard to see because there's nothing. Uh, like or that his his uh, scientist is in the way, so fair point there, totally. So clear, it's crystal. Yeah. It's clearly impossible. <laughs> One, from two, three, four, five. To no, what I was thinking was I thought this was a path, but it's just oh, to get from Marseille nothing. to Bologna. Because these are, so yeah. that look like a path to me, but yeah, that's not right. You know, yeah. actually, I, I could see. Is that. it a path? Oh, yeah. It's it not, not. But it it, it not. looked like a path. It. I was okay. counting that. One, two, three. I could buy that. Okay. All right, you're off the hook. I buy it. I don't know why you were questioning me. <laughs> I'm lying to you. Um, that's only two, though. Oh. Shoot. Oh, but I have eight bucks. That's what I can do. So play that. Do you... Never done yeah. that. So okay. Well. So I'll know. pay three for the five bucks. Uh, five five points. points. We should start playing. And then Jess, uh, Jess has almost gotten I'm more gonna points pay two. in the first half of the game than I got the entire first game I played. Just FYI, that's impressive. I'm gonna end up playing this, but I'm gonna pay two to go an extra 
Um, I only have two, so I'm going to go three spaces. I'm going to pass this, so I pay three, two. So that's all my money. Yes, it was one, one two, three, because I want to be there, I think. <laughs> ah, maybe. I'm going to do that, and I get this guy, which is one point and two bucks. Yes, ma'am. I get your point. Thank you. But I'm boom. Oh. <laughs> I get your right. point. Star. All right, this gives me a potion. Learn me a book. And I'm going to start doing books because of right. you know, reasons. See, having gone to A school in the Marine Corps in Memphis, Ten Tennessee, or Millington, Tennessee, I got into sweet tea down there, and so I, I can appreciate that. Definitely. So I get that. Although I'm not quite at the level of, of tea snob that Martin is, but I, I imagine if I keep getting good tea for Christmas and other occasions, I'm probably going to want to do that more. Mm. So, yeah. Tea snobbery is a good good snobbery to have. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Mind Mark. you, many snobberies are, but tea is particularly good. Okay. Now for the first of my library bookings. Um, I play this card. I get one victory point for every green book. This is wild. So All right, go green. with it. So give me one point, please. For red. For red. And then to do the books, I need to spend two for the upgrade. I have been to Stonehenge. So I can fill up that shelf. All right. And for the last action, I will get two bucks. Wow, I am flush with cash. I have no idea what to do with this much money. Get me another book. I have four books, so I can do any. I am at location number six. We will go ahead and complete that one for three points as well. Nice. That feels... I feel like I accomplished something now at least. Mm. Even if I don't do well, I feel like, okay, I got that done. That feels good. So, yep. happy about that. So, next time I'll do that and that. And then but now the that. question is, I have to lose one of these. Oh, what? This is terrible. Because it would be that, then that. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> and then Crap this dragon. Yeah, that. that's exactly it's Pixie Queen. Oh, I love Pixie Queen. Oh, I'm talking about low scoring. Like, that's the goal, right? Low, like goal. I won Pixie Queen <laughs> with four points. <laughs> right. I was just glad I was positive. I was like, this is fantastic. So uh, good. What am I gonna? Stonehenge There's whips. definitely looks very small and wimpy when you get there. Does it? Yeah. yeah. It, it, I think I always feel it looks most impressive from there's a, a fairly busy uh, road, but you can look, you see it as you go past. Okay. Um, I think it looks best from that position. Okay. Um, because when you actually go there, it kind of looks like nothing. You can't actually so get crazy. inside anymore. But that that gives I, me more you points. could when I was a really young kid when I was about ten or so. I went there. And you could actually get inside the stones. And then That's I went again book, because my girlfriend at the time worked for English Heritage, which looked after Stonehenge, and she was able to get right. permission for us to sneak in after it closed oh, and nice. actually go inside. It was That's kind cool. of nice. I already have this. Now, right? That's no, really you gotta look far at it from away. The distance. Yeah. And I have to pay potions to get this one. But it's a lot of points. It seems like it's going to take too long because we only have a couple rounds left. Three left. Three, three though? Three. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, two rounds left after this. I apologize. I don't feel confident enough in my abilities to do such things. Do I have another book? I do. Mm. Yeah, there's not enough time for that. So I guess mm. I'll do... Ugh, this feels so gross. I get that. That. Or I could do two... No, I'm not getting up there. Okay. I have three books that aren't the same, so that's going to give me four points. And I'm going to pay three potions to do that. And I'm all set. Mm. Mm. All right, well, bring it home. I'll joke about my book. I actually don't need... <laughs> I've got all these potions. I don't actually need... To use very many, any of them because that will count. There's three what's it's there. I've got the three books in there, so I can just plop that there, and that will be a nice five points at the end of the round. Well done. Ah, boy. All right. Well, go ahead and tuck a card. Oh, yes. Card tucking. That's always the tricky bit, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I gotta choose. 
Uh, I already yeah, decided I it's my own new channel to be. It's that motherboard. Well, hold on before I don't do that. need orange books anymore because unless I go over here, oh, it's going to be orange, orange books. Right? Okay, it's and not going to be that more one. orange book cards than I know what to do with as it is. Yeah, it's going to be that one. Okay, uh, take the rest in the hand. That goes all right. So, start mm. at the back. So, I'm getting seven points when oh, go ahead. Can okay. I okay? And Martin, what are you at? I have eight points. Well done. And Star? I have six points, two bucks, and a uh, potion. Five points and two bucks. Five for you? Yeah. And what did you say? Uh, two bucks and a potion, I heard that. And six points. All right. Six. One, two, three, four, Just one potion. All right, already past the first player marker. Jess, you're up. Mm. So I could do that to go on any. Oh, this is. Do I pass anything? No. Could you explain this card to me? Nope. Okay. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, let's see on the cards. I'm looking right there. It is apply the immediate special effect of an ancient card or an action card. Sorry, uh, which has already been placed on your desk. Something with a lightning bolt already on it. Got it. And what about this one? Pay two coins to. Put I believe you teleport. I believe that one is. Let me see. Spend two coins to move your scientist to any free village with a silver or gold border without a bonus token. You can apply this effect either before or after performing the basic travel. Oh, so you, it's a nice little teleport. Your scientist is... Yep, is, the main guy is so sort of going to any of these empty spaces ah. like that. All right. Okay, I never yeah. go... Ah. Two, three, four, five. I take it you guys are able to follow along? It seems... Felix is excited about this. Uh, okay. How many of y'all at home have uh, have played this already? I do a book. I'll have this. I could place that one. And get a book. Sure. Do a book, get a book, which I have four, so I'll take a five. In. And I'm going to place this one, which I'm on currently, and that's two books. Yep. Bueno. And completes that. Mm-hmm. Because you said that's free. Yep. Or the mm -hmm. column, sorry. All right, start. Yep. Getting this blue and green book card. And Martin? Go forth and multiply. That's very annoying of you. <laughs> mm. Well, now what do I do? Well, I don't do what I was going to do. I'll do something else. Um, okay, what the competition do? Actually, maybe I'll do that. Go for that card. Which one was it? One, two, that one. Gotcha. All right. I'm going to go ahead and travel, spend a buck, but I'm actually, I could move two, but I'm actually only going to move one if I could. Move me over to Amsterdam. Okay. Place this on that. Then I will spend two bucks. So that would have been three. Yeah, I'm good with that. There, oh, it's three bucks? Well, one plus Oh, yeah, two. yeah, total, right. And I will go ahead and actually place that on... It's 
that one up there, isn't it? Um, I just don't know if I have enough time to do everything I want to do. You don't. Okay. <laughs> now that that's been established, and this is onto any one rounded space, so I could go, so I need five and four, and four is way out there. Oh, boy. You know what? Let me go a different direction, if you guys don't mind. Sure. So instead of that, I was here. I'll mm -hmm. go one, two, three to do this. Okay. There. So I have two, so that would have cost me two bucks instead of three to do that. And done. Uh, I... I didn't hurt you. You didn't. No, my brain did. Oh, okay. I was yeah. like, I couldn't have messed with you. No, I didn't you're take fine. a card. <laughs> um, there's one there. What? Oh, that's so terrible. Oh, I guess I could pay. How much do I have? Five. So I could do this. Oh, wow. There's, there's a... Okay, a lot of y'all. Okay. Right? I feel you. This game's hard. It's just hard. It's not... Like, it's simple, but it's like... You can't do all the things. I have yet to find a really streamlined strategy for it. Oh, I would get money. Right. <laughs> she said that. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That makes it better, because that... Okay. 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 Okay? Okay. Okay. Oh, All right. But I have to pay, and that's exactly what I have. And then that would be paid for. And then that would pay for that. <sighs> this is hurting my head. I don't even know if I'll get to that, ever. I'd have to use those, and there's none. <laughs> Right, I'm pressing my luck. Okay, so. Yep, that's fine. So I'm going to move to one, two, by placing this. Then I gotta get there. It doesn't cost me, but I'm gonna pay two to place a cube. And I am paying three for five points. So can you move me up five points? Gotcha. And then I'm gonna place a cube. I'm going to place it there because I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Sure. Mmm, brain hurts. I'll set Jess. Yup. Right. So I'm going to do. I'm going to move my guy to where Jess is paying two bucks to go to the extra space. I don't have to pay. Sorry, okay. It's okay. That's all I got. Did remember there's that. Okay, travel time. I need, so I need to take the Eurostar. So, one, two, three, travel. One, two, three. Fortunately, Eurostar is nice and cheap, it only costs a buck. And I get to place a cube on Paris. Okay. And of that course, that's going to set up my swap there. All right, still in flux what I'm doing here. So two bucks, and that's a book. That's a three book. So I'm going to go ahead and place that right here. Oh, it covers it's a yellow book there. And by doing that, I immediately get four extra bucks, which that'll be a five, and boom, done. Okay. Mm -hmm. That doesn't cost me anything. Or do I just go right in for it? But I'll go I'll get the three. Okay. I'll, th I'll keep with my plan. So that's three movement over here, which lets me do a guy, which is going to be this guy, finally, which lets me move 
up to five spaces, right? Mm -hmm. No cost. One, two, three, but I'm gonna stop here. To get four bucks, put a cube. This four bucks seems good. Especially given what that card is. There you go, yep, I got you. All right, star. All right, I'm gonna get a potion and put a book here. And that's gonna give me a potion. And Martin. Mm. Indeed, well, I'm going to drop this, which will get me money. Um, it will get me one, two for the money move. But I'm going to then not use that money, instead spend that money to do that. Which you have the two bucks, which you're good to go. Yep. So three points so for red. gives me two potions, please, gotcha. yep. and three points. This is ridiculous, the amount of potions you have. It is. I wish I could think of something to do with them, but... Oddly enough, I actually can't think of much I can do because well, I suppose I can turn them into places I've not been to. Yeah, them. here. That's going to be useful. If you make it up to there. Well, yeah, but what are my chances of getting up there? Uh, they left town, I think. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> so another book. I have four books. Uh, I am on location five right there, so I will go ahead and place another right there, which completes that row. Yay! Done. Hmm. Darn it. All right, I don't have one of those down there, which would be great to play, but I don't need those things, especially now. Uh, well, that's a buck. It gets me where I want to be. But I don't have the card to play it. This oh, is terrible. I hear you. That one's got to happen. So I'm going to have to not worry about it. Arc. It might Ooh. be worth spending a buck for that. Okay. For now, I'm going to go this way for a dollar. And I have three. So one, two, three. Three points. Three and at 50. All right. And a travel cube. And a cube. I'm right behind her with 25. It goes on the <laughs> blue. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I am at uh, 31. Yeah, but you got a good engine now. You I know. You got that stuff happening. Times. You're it's fine. It's only going to be for two rounds, but it's going to be a glorious <laughs> two rounds, let me tell you. You're going to be good. Playing this book, I'm paying three potions. To get another one of these guys out. I'm all set. Okay, well, I get the first book down. I get um, a victory point for a uh, green book there. So it's not much, oh, but I, I want it. That. And then I'm going to go here. I've got two books, so there's no cost to do that. That one can now have Paris. And that reveals four bucks, which I can take. A moment, I need to check something real quick. What way? And then that would be one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's how we need to do it. All right. So I will go ahead. Is there anything? I don't really think I need it. I'm trying to do that, but should I? Eight. 4, 12. I think that'll be worth it. I just gotta make sure that'll work. Yeah. So I will travel. That is three compasses. I will go up north and go over to the one, two, and three. I will pay my one buck mm -hmm. and drop a cube there. Which now will give me that one. All right. Yes? Mm-hmm. I really want one of those cards up there to have a book on the bottom, but my chances 
of something you've got coming a, out with three a book. bucks. You can pay a buck and you can do it three just, times. No, <laughs> you could. You actually could. Right now, <laughs> um, yeah, my luck on that is terrible. I don't know if I should do it once. Oh, I can't really do it once because I don't have a. Nope, that wouldn't help me because I can't. It's going to come out in the level two, right? Uh, if that's, or you, you choose which... Oh, you choose you, Which pile. Mm -hmm. You yeah. choose a pile. Okay, so I could do a level one and hope... Oh, God, my chances are so bad. <laughs> uh, I could have paid attention to what cards came out. Right. knew but how many of each. There's like a lot yeah. of work. Right, it really It seems does. like a lot of work, yeah. Mm, oh God, but the card I want to be able to play, I talked because I'm an idiot. Oh, actually, no, I have one. I just got to wait, I think, is the deal. Oh, it would be so nice to tuck that, though. Okay. Something else. Find a new plan, Jess. Do this. And that moves me to... Oh. Or I could get a compass. So if I pass this, I don't get it. Correct. But I do get the money. Cash. You do, right? Do I really want that for... There's two rounds left, though, right? Uh, there's this round and one more. Mm. Uh, not necessarily, Dimitri. Got everything I needed. Two cards equals three points. What's that? This? Yeah. For every two non-starter card that is not tucked at the end of the game, you get three points for every two cards to a maximum of 15 points. Oh, that's not terrible. Well, no, I don't think I bought tons. But it's still points. Um, all right, so do I go to... I think I do... All right, I'll do that. Am I going to get up there? One, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four. I think I can make it. No. You don't think In so? In two rounds, I'm not going to make it. Because I can make it two in there. And you get three. Well, that's still three I points. I think I know what I'm going to try and do. Are we'll see how to? it works. Right? We'll see how it works. That's two. And I... No. Screw I'm that. stressed. <laughs> Whether or not I can pull this off, I know what I'm doing now. I don't need that. I'm game. taking the two bucks. But okay, that's that. James says Jess is OP. She's getting nerfed in the update because <laughs> 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 here she is. There we all are. So. But it's not over. No, it's not. I don't have a long same. game. So I get that, and then I'm going to pay one potion to pretend that I have three green books. That. We'll say. Mm. It is a mighty lead, though. <laughs> there is, is no doubt. It's impressive. It's we'll not. I don't think it's going to stay. That's my. I'm to be truly honest, because you have a lot of scoring, and I, I have don't really have anything. I have a book as well. Um, I have. It'll be one, two, three with the books. What do you get? Like seventeen. Uh, last time. To yeah. Spend see, one that's potion not. As a you're green fine. Book. That's why I'm not complaining. No, we you're going to be fine. But I don't know if it's enough, but it's, it's going to be some. It's a lot. Sun. All right. So then I would go ahead and joke her up. I'm a, I'm a learn me a book. I have like 17 books out here, so we're good. Go ahead. Drop that bad boy right there because I am now mm. there. And boom. Done. So go ahead and tuck a book. Or tuck something, oh. I should say. Mm -hmm. I'm actually hoping to get that. So I should keep that okay. one. Pass the first player marker. I know you're deep in thought, so no worries. Those get wiped to the bot uh, bottom. Bottom, bottom, bottom. Yep. There you go. Wait, do I have a way of doing that now? God damn it. All right. <laughs> so going worse to first, uh, uh, I'm getting 17 points this round. That's a lot of points. Yep, so 5, 10... Four and three, 17 to 31. Oh, yeah. All right, red. I get 13 in a potion. 34. I'm getting 11 a potion and two coins for blue. 11 to 40. And Jess, what are you getting? Um, three, two bucks. I know I always get two bucks. There's no money over here. 
There really is. It's There's just, just no you don't like making change. No. Um, three, <laughs> five, and so, so seven. Seven. So at 57, a little help store. Sure, sure. There we go. All right. We So if you notice, all our boards, all our tucking is done. So we play one final round. And here we go. This is uh, two coins one time to... Uh, let's see. That is... Spend two coins to place more than one travel cube during the travel action. You can place a cube in a place you pass through. Hmm. Oh. That's exciting. That is exciting. Hey, Luke. What's that up? So it's just the non-tucked ones for that one up there, you said, right? So played out here is okay. Yeah, and, and not played, correct. Mm -hmm. Non-starting cards, remember. Non-starting. You can gotcha. look at the backs of them. Non-starting. Gotcha. So, so in other words, only, like, I, that one I doesn't count. Gotcha. I totally understand. Okay, cool. One, two. Hmm. Oh, and the Eclipse one, I just... What is that? Uh, double the effect of one bonus token that you collect, performing the technology action of this card. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay. You're gone, yes. I have. I, I apologize. Okay. No, that's all right. I was uh, too busy trying to figure out what to do. So I'm going to use two lots it and pick up this card. Can I know it doesn't spoil that. It's plans because he already two. figured out what he was going to do. Well, so no card will pick I think I missed the step. Hmm. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I did not. I did not. Sorry. Sorry. This was it. I'm like, how do I get the first master played? How? Oh, right. I remember now. So. Six, three, and a level one. Boom, done. There it is. And then I need three yellow and a green. Okay. Looking out there, what do I want to do? I need one of those. Oh. Spend four instead of six. That actually works out, and I need the card. So that works out. I will mortarboard. Well, it's an easy word to trip you up. Um, I will spend three bucks. Sorry, I will spend two, two bucks. There we go. There. Uh, to be able to take that card right there. Yes, sir. Thank you. Done. So, um, I will mortar board uh, one point for playing this. And then I'll take the green book. Get a coin, and I will move up twice to, oh, and that's a lot of potions. Hold on, let me undo that. Need that, need that. There, drop a cube, and I'm all set. To get in okay. Not sure it matters what order I do. Actually, I don't these, care about that cube. I'm gonna go the full way. 
You get two potions. That's I'm going to drop this book to uh, more book collecting. Um, ignore the special ability because it's not going to help me. I'm going to spend three potions to make up for the fact that I never actually made it to Salamanca. And take that call. Take care, Rob. That's Thanks for hanging out. Oh, but I get money as I do it. Okay. Oh, this starts your brain. It really does, doesn't mm -hmm. it? A moment. So that gives me three, but I think I'm short money to be able to do it, or am I? I'd like need a notepad. Uh, <laughs> seriously, that's exactly where I'm at right Could now. I'd be like, what? Okay, so I'm going to do this. All right, what the hell? Let's just do it and see if it works out. Here we go. So I'm going to play the card that I just got, spend four bucks. The four bucks will then place a book right there to cover up the four space, which I do not have a marker on, but I do not need because of that, which that then allows me to play a master. The master will then allow me to move six steps on this. One, two, three, four, five, six there without collecting the money though mm -hmm. which i'm good with but it's worth four points and gets me further up there boom done okay three one okay i think i'm one action short son of a we'll see i think this is how i have to do it We'll see if I calculated this right. Okay, so that's three, one, two, three, which is three dollars. Okay. But I'm gonna pay to to go one more, which gives me three points and two potions. Star. I'll get a potion and I'll put out a book. Martin. That's gonna give me three bucks or four bucks. Nice. Oh, crap! I said order didn't matter and I was wrong. Mm. But it's okay. <laughs> so I'm going to use my money. One, two, three. Yeah, so it'll take me up. One, nope, two, nope. Oh, oops. There you go. One, two, three. Then I'm going to pay two to go up one more. And I receive three. Right. So that I end up getting one. Netting. Technically, you get, you get four. Oh, because I get one for being on there right, as well. Yeah. Cool, okay. And now you get to play a master. And then I get to play a master, finally. I'm going to play Margaret Cavendish and develop a way to uh, these. Um, then that reveals another master. Oh, well done. And this is why I got it the wrong way around. I should have played that one first because uh, if I played yeah, Isaac Newton, points. I would have got two points. Right. All right. Okay, so I will play that which gets me a coin oh damn it and that's now three steps here so one two three which would this be three more power. coins make it a cool five power. which also allows me to play a master and that master is going to be uh kusano that was kepler earlier which is going to be three potions uh one more potion mm -hmm. and real quick that's the end of my turn but before we go on to jess's turn Hey, hey. hey! Cheers. Welcome, Luke. Thank you. Thanks, Luke. Welcome. Find the tea left. All right. Welcome, you Wit. All right. Mm. Jess? Oh, that is good tea. It really is, isn't okay. it? It's like lightly coconut, but not. Too Only much. the symbols below and to the left I have to of ask which you the... play? What's that? Now I'm paranoid. I don't what? think so, Brian? No? I don't, yeah, I don't hope not. <laughs> I never heard of that. Didn't see that. Uh, Samo, um, because of my master, it specifically said I don't get the, uh, I don't get the money, and I don't get anything because I didn't stop All on right. this space. I want that so five points, and that's a good thing to do. Oh God! If Brian's right, then I don't. Where did it say that? I, I think he's just assuming. It could be a question he's yeah, asking. So I will double check that. Just because I'm paranoid now. Hold on. Go ahead, Josh. You can take your yeah, turn. Yeah, I'm getting there. That'll be a thing for me, and that's worth it. 
But I think I that means I can't do. I imagine that's going to be the case because that brings the other this thing game to I a whole new to. level of yeah, that would be ouch. planning. That would be gross. That would be, oof, yes. Oh, but I can. You know what? Screw Chicken it. Chicken butt. No why? Uh, Chicken stop thigh. you. Oh, I don't have to do that, do I? Because I was going to do that to go down here. I should just not worry about that. I should do these three last actions. Ooh. Do that, that. Ooh. This needs to be Recount, out, though, right? Oh, no, it no, doesn't. No, just visible on your desk. Because it's going to be... Which is... Page five of the rule that book. That one. And that okay. one. Nope. And then when I play this. There you go, Brian. Thanks for I'll making me paranoid. <laughs> no, actually, I'm glad to check it. That. So thank you. So that one and that one. So I need two yeah. actions. And I don't know. Oh, how that. do I think I'm. There was a way I was doing this. Oh, right there. <gasps> ah! I can't. I have too many cards. Ah! Three actions left, and I need to do more. Okay, I guess I'm buying it. I can. So that's Boom. what I'm doing. I don't want to lose that those points. That's short-sighted. This gives me more money, but it doesn't cost me anything for what I'm doing. Books, I'll have two. And I'm really only doing that one. It's a matter of one point, Jess. Really? <laughs> You're like <laughs> I'm enjoying the the the, the commentary. I'm go I'm re of all of this was for one point, so <laughs> I'm even disappointed <laughs> in myself. That's awesome. Um, but but maybe that'll nope. It's literally for one point. Oh, that was stupid. All right, okay. Australia. Well, this is gonna do that. Good call. Luke. It's gonna be fun anyway. You know what? I, get over there. I don't care if I Three. win. I accomplished my mission. I know. I, what exactly honestly, I was I'm so to happy do about like this anyway. Ago. I'm happy with that. Yeah, do it. Um, do I have to do this beforehand is the only thing I need to know. Do I need the money? No, I don't think so. Oh, Am I? Oh, God. Yes. One, oh. two, three. And I'm going to pay... To Edward, get there. I don't even know the answer to that. One, that two, card three that, um, in here. But I get about. four bucks. So I clearly have enough money. This one, I can't drop two cubes that there. That lets me in there. The... No, I believe it's along the travel me path. That totally this guy yep. who gives me a total of four nasty. books. I still need the requirements, but it's a total of four. So like a three and a one, four ones, as long as I have the requirements for Correct. it. Correct. So... I'm going to do a three and a one because threes are hard. I have the requirement for this. It's knocked off, but he's right over there. Yep. And when I lay that, I get a potion. Can I have a potion, please? Potion. potions. Hey, Ian. What's up? Happy New Year. And then... There's more. One more thing going out. And where? It's going to go here. And as you can see, I have none of them, but I can spend three potions to do it. Checks out. Yep. So I'm doing that. All right, you that's do it. That's a thing I'm doing. All right, yeah, it's a thing you did. <laughs> All right, that's awesome. So I'm going to get a coin. And Just traveling two steps. Two steps up to there, yeah. and I have to pay three potions for the books that I'm missing. Okay, so you need three green and a yellow. <gasps> and you I've have got a green, so three potions, which means you just paid six points. Ooh. All right. I'm pretty, well, you can buy potions at any You time. can, right, yeah, so. on your turn, oh, yeah. Oh, that's true, you can buy yeah. potions, can't you? We've got that little point. All right, Martin? Okay. Um, I will say that I feel like I've, I don't know if I'm scoring better this game than I did last game, but I feel like it came together there towards the end for me here. Today. That's good. So, okay, so drop this card yeah, down. Yeah. It's a book. So God, I can place a book attacks. pretty much wherever I like. I'm going to spend two potions for the is two that blue you, books. Is that where you like, sir? I think so. Okay. <laughs> Unless you can see something cleverer for me to do that you're prepared to share with me. I, you know, I am so engrossed and then in my own I can, stuff. Exactly. <laughs> and then I can spend three bucks to place another book. 
which will be my final book. And that will also cost a potion. Wow, love right that. And eight points. And that will give me a nice Well bonus. done, Matt. Yeah. First time Your I've seen that. Your bookshelf looks great. So eight, one, forty-two. Well done. Oh, I, I, don't, I thought I scored that at the Oh, I scored it right away, right Robin, there. at the end. Okay. What is it at the end? So I'm Good going job. to go ahead and joker up. Um, I, what do you I, score right away? The what he uncovered right oh, here. Oh yeah, yeah, you're, you're So uncovered. I'm doing some work oh, again. Yeah, so jokering. So that's going to be a total of four. One, two, three, and four. So that's four coins. Can I get a coin over sure. there, please? There. Thank you. And I have to have three green and a blue. You notice I have a green and a blue, which means that looks like two, two other greens right there. Boom, done. And for every set. I'm going to score five points to a maximum of three sets. You can see I already have one set out there already. All right, Josh, you're up. So these are potions that help you study? You get a so dollar. like Adderall? Or <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. So that was the buck. And I'm going to place one in a level two because they have two books. And I'm on this number two, guys. I'm going to place it here. Okay. you travel... Spending three bucks for a potion plus two potions for the books that I'm missing. Three yellow and a, or yeah, three yellow and a green, which means three potions. There you go. And when we say right. you can buy potions at any time, should yep, I do it ahead. now or yeah. wait? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so I've got 12 bucks. So I'm four potions. It's true. March? It's true. Yeah, so I having money or got myself set up without the clearing the library, okay. I was Unless then wondering what to do. Mm -hmm. And it would be really nice had I not got rid of my last gear, because then I could have moved up there, and that would have been <gasps> good, wouldn't it? Oh, that's oh, rough. That's tough, oh, isn't it? Two, and I have three. no gears. Oh, I can't do that. Points. Ouch. However, I can... Joker? I can... I've got a joke. Uh, oh, a joker can be anything, can't yes. it? Including it can, something you yeah. haven't got. Yeah. No, not if it's not down there. No, oh, so I thought it had have to it. be... He does. No, he has it. Does that... What? It, am I allowed to do this? I did not know that. Of course. I did not know that. <laughs> Why would... I thought if you tucked your last one, you couldn't activate it. I thought we, that was... That was something that we check knew. on this because I was assuming I couldn't use the joker. Yeah, to I do think that. that that was okay. said that if you tuck uh, your last one. I'm pretty sure one, when I taught this. I, okay, joker. Action cards with a joker symbol can be used to perform a basic action of your choice. Hard stop. Mm. The value of the action you choose to perform is equal to the total number of symbols of that action visible on your desk plus one. Yeah. So yeah, I, 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 I can use this I, play I, that joke. I thought I explained oh. that pretty clearly. Yeah, it's an action of your when choice. When calculating the value of action performed later in the game. Wow. Yeah, it won't count to help later, but yeah. So if you just don't want to tuck it, but you can use it as anything. Wow, yeah. I did not. Not that it helps that. me, of course, because I need to get. I need four oranges and a. Oh. Blue to get in there, and I don't have four oranges well, and blue I, on my desk. Just be clear that I tried to help you. Did. You did. Yeah. You did. <laughs> I think what it was is because it was that it has to be visible, and I thought that meant it had to be one yeah. of these not tucked. Yeah. Nope, not at because all. Because it can't be one that's not here at all. If it's, right. If you're you're nothing not out there. Anything times right. Zero. And so my right. understanding was it had to be one of these. All right. Take care, Luke. Thanks but again for the support, man. My Thank plan you. B is to Australia. make it do the money. One, two, three, four money, which is I can follow Edward. Yeah. And then I am okay because Newton's got his two green books. I have two potions. And boom, so done. And get you in. get four bucks. And I get four bucks for whatever that's worth. All right. And for my last magic trick, following the Tricarian theme of the review that releases tomorrow night, is I am traveling. So one, two, three, four. We'll go. Okay. <laughs> that was awesome, though. You, you're like, oh! That's... I have a five. Okay, so Woo! we're going for travel. One, two, three bucks, four, and five. And I need Everybody wants three that. yellow and a blue. So three yellow and a blue checks and out. A green. Uh, I'm sorry, three yellow and a green still checks out. Yeah, yeah you're like, <laughs> <laughs> That was a very stressful well, move. It was, because I missed the $5 one there. I was like... I'm sure. Oh, no, I'm not. Okay. I'm paying $3 for five points, please. Five points up there. Can she hold on? <laughs> and then I have two of these, so I'm going to travel the same two that okay. everybody else is doing. 
I only have one of each, so I need two yellow soap, but I have two potions two, to do it. There you go. And, and drop this a, comes off, which gives me a point to when we yep. calculate, which is nice. A uh, point? Mm, down here. Not. Oh, it's immediate. Yeah, Sorry. No, immediate no, point. no. Hold on. It's during income, just like no, the others. Isn't it's it? an no. exclamation point, and you I had apologize. him do it before. No, no. Those are different ones. Yes. This These right here is what bolts. I'm looking for. Yeah. You're yeah. right. Yep. All right. So that, then we go to, a, uh, we finish the round, so we don't tuck a card. So basically, just take these back into your hand, but we are mm -hmm. going to score your cards, or score, as if we were going into another round. So where are we? Worse. I guess that's me. So I now have this, 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 and this, which is 10, 18, 21 points. And you know what? I don't care. I'm happy with that. 21. 52. That puts me at 52. All right. And blue, what you got? Eleven, a potion, and two coins. Eleven to fifty-one, a potion and two coins. All right, and red. What do you got? I have yield twenty-one. All right, I, I like that a lot less. That's sixty-three. Right. <laughs> and Jess, what you got? Uh, two dollars, which I'll take anyway. Kay. And then three, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oof, that's a big eleven point she just got there to twenty-eight. All right. So that now, we go into final scoring. Okay, so here we go. Each player receives victory points for the objective spaces occupied by any piece of their color. So, you know what? We'll start up here since a bunch of us are already up there. Uh, blue, what do you got? I've got seven non-starter cards, so that'll be three for... Nine uh, points? Nine points. And for me, I think I have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nope. Oh, wait, right here. There it is. Eight. So eight is going to be 12, 12 points. For yellow. So it's a 14. And Jess. I have six for, for nine points. Oh, I think she's got this. Oh, yeah. Nine to 37. So is this with scoring again? How many hats? No, no, it's or? if you have a marker here. Oh, if you have a marker. So, Sorry. Yeah. So that's Everybody that objective. Yeah, okay. okay. Um, objectives down here. So Star, you're the only one here. What do you got potion-wise? Five, five potions for 10 points. Nice, okay. Star. Good job. Up to 20. And then Martin, what do you got here? Just the one set for five, unfortunately. That plus my wild. That brings them to and 18. And then one of the greens. And for me... That's, I'm missing two greens for a complete set. So that's three complete sets. Ooh, so 15, 15 points. Nice. The max. 29. 29. All right, so we have that. Let's see, what else? So we have the objectives. Uh, victory points shown on master cards is next. 11 for me. 11 to 48. Eight. And then for me, it's going to be nine. 38, right where we are. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. I'm 11. Uh-oh. 18 to 29. And star? Just two. And that, folks, is it. She did hold on for victory. Good job, So Jess, Jess wins at 98. Hashtag good teacher at 88. <laughs> Martin with 79. And star, thank you for playing. <laughs> all right so at uh that at, was what, so 72. interesting Whew, all right mm. good game guys that yeah. Was, yeah that was really really enjoyable yeah. so martin you log in to score us right i just keep a record in my day one yeah okay uh -huh. so uh all right your first full game of the game um it's an interesting game there's a lot to puzzle through um it's it's nice if you like that simultaneous solitaire kind of thing, but right. there isn't really a huge amount of interaction, and the cards. that's what I like a lot in a game. Right. And there's just, I suspect there's not enough to really thrill me compared to other games that I've uh, come across. But I'll play it again. It was, it was kind of fun, although it's certainly there's a hell of a lot to think about. So maybe you kind of have to play it a few times before it really kind of... It's starting to now. This is game four. 
for me, right. for what it's worth. So how about you, Star? I like it a lot. Um, I think you're right about the lack of player interaction. But, you know, I like Euros, so multiplayer solitaire is cool to me. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, there, there, right. I mean, it's it, it depends on what you're into, right? Yeah. How about you? Uh, I've liked it more and more as I've played it. The first time I played, it hurt my brain mm. so hard. And I was like, why am I not getting this? And the other two players we played against were more experienced. And they just seemed oh, to know sharks. exactly yeah, what they yeah. were doing. Um, and, of course, kind of looked at us like, why are you having trouble? What's wrong? And yeah, we're... they scored like 100, oh, it was 100 painful. to 120, somewhere in that I range. was glad you were playing with me, though, because we're looking at each other like, we're not, we're not that 40, bad, are we? Like, why? <laughs> well, I we did. can be... Good. We did yes. much better than no, we would on the first did game. Yeah. Fabulous. And and that <laughs> was so interesting game. because you so. really came out strong. I was I was like, oh wow, Star really knows what he's doing here. And weirdly, every other time I've played, I had a very strategic plan. Go out on the board and as to player interaction, I would I'd be looking at these. Mm -hmm. um, on, uh, the little the instant ones yes, because right. you can pass and you don't have to stop and I kind of like that aspect of it but if I'm planning on them for part of my actions and then you pass me like, right. yeah, so yeah, yeah. for me there's a little bit of angst there in like where are you going to go a couple like at times you took cards I was going to take or you did like mm -hmm. you know other players took cards so that changed up what I was doing, but yeah, you're still looking at your own like oh, how am I going to play this, what are you going to do and I made mine actually more difficult because I didn't know I could joker up these, so right. I wasn't. I thought I was stuck, but um. yeah, it really hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> so for me, yeah, um, this game's hard. Uh, I don't know what it is about it specifically to me, but this game, I am mentally exhausted from this game. Just the mm. puzzling together of, okay, it's essentially a multi player solitaire puzzle that you're trying to piece together based on the cards that you acquire and everything mm -hmm. else. And I'll be honest, I hated the game the first time I played it. And that's really strong language for me. I don't feel that strongly about it. The second time I played it, uh, second and third, I was like, yeah, I really dislike this game. <laughs> now I feel like I'm settling on, I'm starting to understand mm -hmm. it. I'm starting to see it kind of piece together there right there at the end even though I don't think I scored exceptionally well at what 88 points or whatever I don't like the game I really don't wow. um I, I I don't feel as strongly about it as I did the last time but I just the multiplayer solitaire aspect the only interaction is oh I took your card or you took my card that is yes yeah, yeah. Right. and the jumping over spaces but or it's these not a huge yeah deal. or these right. uh, instant uh, whatever. Barbers. I mean, it's it's it's, it's very minimal mm -hmm. at best. Mm -hmm. Number one, that's a bit of a turnoff for me. And number two <coughs> is, I enjoy a brain burning game. Hell, I host heavy cardboard, <laughs> but I don't feel like the, I, it doesn't feel as rewarding. It feels more rewarding than it has in the past because I was able to. All right, I got those last yes. two things in the yeah. last round. That felt good. But I don't feel like it felt good enough to justify the mental tax that I went through to get there. I Does see that. that. Make sense? Yes, because I mean, you saw me really struggling over a move <laughs> in round point. four, and I realized it was one point difference over what I was going to do. I mean, I went for the one extra point, and then I ended up getting this one too, so two points. But all of that was for one point. And what I was going to say too is so my other games, I had this whole strategy that I tried to play out. This game, I had a strategy that didn't play out. No, 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 but you can see that that was actually better. Instead of having this plan in the beginning of, I'm going to go here, I'm going to do this, I'm going to make sure I get workers, I'm going to do all these things, that got thrown to the wind, and then I was just like, I'm just going to go for points all over the board. Whatever I see, I'm going to go for them. And um, kind of being... Yeah, I, hear, <laughs> yeah. I hear points are good. Kind right? of being a little willy-nilly with it and not so stuck on one plan of, of building that bookcase or going here or going there. Uh, I think that actually helped. Yeah, I had the I've sensed that the people who, were, people who will like this game are people who like to do kind of long-term plans mm. and mm. see them. Because, this, because the advantage of little player interaction is you can form a long-term plan because it's no not going to be stomped yeah. on you. Right. I tend to like games where I can form a plan and I've got a rough idea of where I'm going, 
but every time I have a turn come round, it's, oh, the world's changed and I've got to improvise, which is, right. you know, it's like Airship City had that in spades, right, mm -hmm. because yeah. of the moving mm -hmm. plateau, you've got to constantly got to, oh, I've got to rejig things all the time, mm -hmm. and that tends to be the kind of game that I tend to go for more, right. which is not to say it's a bad game and I wouldn't play it again, because I'll happily play it again, but there are just so many yeah, game, being, games that are good. I would play this as well, uh, in fact, probably going to, because eventually probably going to review it on the show. Um, but it's never a game that I'm going to be clamoring to play because I know, and this has, I'm usually pretty worn out after a stream, so that, I take that with a grain of salt, but even so, this is at a level to where I'm just, I'm spent. But it could be just me. I'm curious. Are, are you guys... I am not spent. It could be okay. the coffee. I don't know. I'm could be. <laughs> I, I, the, the game that makes me feel spent at the end is Agricola. I okay. always feel right. like a good yeah. That was work. It was not. <laughs> I mean, that's like spending three hours debugging this really horrible piece of code, and you kind of go, at the end. I didn't feel that. I'm with not this. quite at that level. <laughs> but it's just my point is, like in Agricola, I I I subsisted. I mean, it's subsistence farming, mm. so I survived. This, I didn't score as many points. Mm -hmm. So I, I, the payoff just isn't as strong for me as it as I feel like it should be for the amount of mental gymnastics I had to do to be able to get to where I was. Right. Could be through poor play on my end, but it just never feels super rewarding because oh, I was I, I, right. even even if I I did the the things I wanted to do there at the end, I was like cool, it worked, it came together, good, but eh. Yeah. So. Again, not every game's for every player, no. but... Uh, There's some good questions, though. Brian was okay. saying, so you scored, you, Edward, scored half or more of your entire score in the last two turns. Did you think the payoff was worth the build-up? Uh, it did well for you. Oh, you, it did. It, you it, were it, very it, close it, there. And on that note, I mean, I was able to, you know, fill up this entire half of my board. Yeah. I was able to get these and chain mm. this along with this along with the so one nice that allowed chains, me to move nice up. Yep. So, so Combo. normally I enjoy combos like that, but you it just didn't feel as satisfying. To you. Yeah. It didn't. I mean, I was only 10 ahead of you, and I was getting that five points every oh, one. Yeah. That was my magic card after I... Yeah, yeah I don't think that one way or the 20, other it was... Points. Yeah. Yeah. Because well, I got it so early. Yeah. But that's a little random, right? That's yeah. when it's going to come out. Now, there were other powerful cards that came out, so, but... Yeah, that was a little... Oh, hey, Nerfenstein. The, the question about whether it's a deck oh. builder, no. It, uh, to me, a deck builder is you, you build up this deck and you gradually make it more powerful. This is more like a deck cycler, right? Because you're, you're yes. having to shed cards as fast as you get them. Mm -hmm. right? So Plus, you, know, you, have really full, got that. you have the full complement of yes. your entire deck every round outside of what you're tucking and getting yeah. rid. You're basically discarding one card every round. Oh, yeah, I like so, that deck cycling. It's, yeah. it's, yeah. it's, yeah, it's yeah. more cut than a, yeah. than a deck builder. And yes, that is Martin Fowler. <laughs> uh, and Menta Sorry. asked if we're going to be doing a top 10 of 2018. Uh, would this be on it? Too early to tell if it's going to be on it. And um, yeah, it's called the Golden Elephant Award. comes <laughs> out in April or it comes out in May of the following year because there's still a lot of games that we haven't gotten to from right. 2018 yet. Yeah, don't want to um, leave out those games in Q4. Right. So overall... You don't like the lack of interaction, much like me, but you'd mm -hmm. play it again. Happily, or eh? Yeah, I mean, I'm thinking, of, thinking of what we've streamed. I'd rather play Airship City. Yes. I'd rather play, definitely much play a City of the Big Shoulders. Oh, so um, Barrage, yeah, I prefer Barrage. Mm -hmm. um, I prefer um, that first one we did, uh, the, the yeah, Amsterdam uh, uh, Charter. Charter. Charter is so good, too. I mean, I mean, uh, Interaction is it's, it's really thing. dropping down the list, in, and let alone you know the games in my collection. Sure, I, I don't. If it, this was in my collection, it would just gather dust. I okay. suspect. Now it could be if, if I had three or four more. It's like with any game, you play it once and you think, yeah, it could be that half a dozen more games, and it would ch completely change your mind. But mm -hmm. are you going to put the effort in because there's so many games to play? Right, and with to. the lack of interaction, that's a big question, right? Because yeah. that's yes. not going to change. Yeah, no I mean, problem. for me, I like games that where the world's always dynamic, mm -hmm. and this does not do that for me. How about right. you, Star? I think that I like it, um, and I will happily play it, but I... I'm not so sure that I would happily play it a year from now. Yes. After I play it, 
you know, five, ten times this year, you know, will I still love it then? Mm. Okay. I'm not right. convinced I love it now. Yeah. Fair enough. But I like it. But, okay. Yeah. I again, I don't dislike it, but I wouldn't say that I really enjoy it either. Right. I, I and this kind of goes back to what you were saying earlier, Martin, that there's a lot of games out there. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like we always say that though. But, but I mean, it's, to me, like, it's interesting because to me, this is something that's really noticeable. I, st I got into gaming in the 70s. Yeah. Right? If this was around in the 70s, this would be an awesome, right. magnificent yes. it's game. Timing we would all too. be all it's over true. it. Because there wasn't much then. Yeah. But now, there are so many good games coming out all the time, it's so much tougher. On that note, <laughs> I would say that it's still, it still kind of shows off the fact that. Even with as many games as coming out, there are games that you're partial to that come out that you're like, oh, I can't wait to play this yeah. more. This isn't one of them for no. me. Yeah, that's fair. I, yeah, like I said, I like it better with each play, but I, it doesn't have longevity for me. I could right. see playing it another time if people really wanted to, but no, I'm not going to be playing it next year. Right. And i uh, played it uh, all four players so far, I think. Um, I don't imagine it's going to change much for three-player, two-player. I don't know. Can't speak to yet. Yeah. Um, mm. So, yeah. There you go. That is, uh, that's Newton. Um, I know some people are talking about solo game. Possibly. That, yeah. that might be because you're competing yeah. against score and, you know, yeah. how well you can do in that regard. So well, non-interactive games tend to do well as a solo game. Exactly. Although, even there, I can think of games that, I mean, I'm not a solo player. I've come across... There are games I have that are more interactive that people rate really highly as solo games. Glass Road, for instance, yes. okay. which is you know streets ahead of this in terms of interactivity, and also probably plays quicker as well. How long have we been doing just so okay, just maybe, under three hours? So call it two, call hours, it two, two hours. hours. Yeah. yeah, if we'd have been two playing hours. Glass Road, we'd have been done in an hour and a half. And right. I, yeah. I think oh, yeah. we'd have had a similar degree of, of brain, uh, not maybe the same yeah. amount of brain burniness, but a de similar degree of satisfaction in less time. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. There you go. So that yes. is Newton, folks. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. Don't forget, like. Like, seriously, hit the like button. Uh, and subscribe if you enjoy this. You want to go a step further, go to Pledge HC, which is actually coming up right there underneath. <laughs> go to PledgeHC.com. Support the show there. Really would appreciate it. It helps keep the show growing and going, as it were. 2019, be a good uh, resolution. Support Heavy Cardboard. Really would yes. appreciate it. So that said... Um, New episode for the podcast coming out tomorrow, which is our review of Tricurian, me and Greg. Yay. Looking forward to that. Looking forward to hearing um, it. Unedited, two and a half hours. It'll be less. It'll be less, but I think it's a really, really good in-depth, solid hour on breaking mm -hmm. down Tricurian, the pluses and minuses of it. And the last episode before that was Smartphone Inc. Jess and I mm, think we did pretty, pretty solid mm -hmm. on that. So hopefully go check it out. Go to heavycardboard.com. That said, I'm Edward. I'm Jess. Star. And I'm Martin. Y'all have a wonderful evening. Happy New Year. Happy New we'll Year. catch y'all next week. Take care, everybody. Take care. All right.